Dakota. Hello. Hello. How's everybody doing? Come on in. Everybody come in. Say hello. Give a thumbs up on the way in. I see the 27 people here. How are you all doing? I hope you guys are having a great day today with God on your side. Hello. Come on in. Speak. Give a thumbs up. Hi, Sonia. How are you? Excuse me. How you feeling today? Nicole, how are you? Brandy, hey, thank you. Debbie Parker. Sonia says, welcome everyone to the live. Thank you, Sonia. Latasha, hello. Maddie and Jason. Uh, Moments is here. Alyssa is here. Naomi's here. Lois is here. Shannon and Adi is here. Hello, everybody. Paula is here. Ed White is here. Ida. 20 is here. Catherine, Susan, Carol, and Eula. Hello. Tuck Lights is here. Lights, camera, action. <laughs> Groves and Terry, Lavina, Dorothea, Linda, and Raquel. How are you all doing today? I hope that you're, you guys are having an amazing day today. We are going to have so much fun today. K okay, Coffee, how are you? F Nip. Ron Wilson is here. Hello. He says, I made it. And we're so thankful that you're here. Denise and Patricia B. Hello, Nadine, Denise, Nurley, Jacqueline, Julie's Life, Cat Lovers here, Valencia, Forever Blessed, and Mary Epps. Debbie Parker says, hey, Sonia. Hi, everybody. How is everybody doing? Ah, my eyes got tired. My eyes got tired that quick. <laughs> Hey, listen, we are going to have the time of our life today. Now, you all will see some marks on my shirt. <laughs> it, it's a long story. It is such a long story. So let me tell you, you might see the mark. <laughs> Guess what? So I was washing my outfit, and I had to wear this outfit because I made my eye, you know, my makeup match my outfit. So I put my outfit in the washer. I get it started washing, and then the washer tells me during the end of the washing cycle that the washing that you need to put the washing machine in the cycle where you clean the washing machine. And I thought, you've got to be kidding me. Usually it gives you that message before you start your clothes. So what happened was it, it wind up giving me some soap powder on my shirt <laughs> so I kind of wet it and took the soap powder off but we're gonna work our way through it with God on our side <laughs> I don't care about those wet marks they're gonna dry up <laughs> thank you Kim thank you so much I got my hair done yesterday um, and I'm so grateful she did such a good job Hello, I don't know how to say your name, P-Y-T-R-T-A, hello. Can I use wheat flour? Sure you can, absolutely you can. Raymond, how are you? Nadine, hello. Miss Karen, how are you? Rev, ja Rev Janet is here. Paula Clark is here. Okay, everyone, so I'm, I'm, I'm totally excited about today. Derek Eads, where are you, says Ron Wilson. <laughs> hey, we're going to have fun. We are going to have a good time today. So now, what we're going to be doing is we're making chocolate chip cookies. We're making them Gina Young style. But I do have to tell you, this recipe... It is a quick recipe. Like these cookies can be made together like quick in, in a cinch, right? But although we can make them, I'm trying to adjust my camera. Although we can make them quick in a cinch. Mildred, how are you? Great. Hello, Lynette. I love you too. Um, although the cookie recipe is simple. Once we get the dough made, we're going to turn around and put the dough in the refrigerator for about 35 minutes and then um, we'll put them into the oven okay it that 
process where we take the dough that we made up and we put it into the refrigerator, it does something really special to cookies. Like I, I've learned through trial and error that anytime I make homemade cookie dough, I'm gonna always take the cookie dough, put it in the refrigerator before we cook it, okay? I, I think he just let a fly in here. I think he just let a fly in here. Oh my goodness. Oh Lord, not right before we make the cookies. Dakota, you have to turn around, get that fly swatter and get that fly out of here. Either you did it <laughs> when you let him out the garage or he did it. I, I just made a pineapple upside down cake the other day live. So feel free to check that video out. Hey Nate Dog, how are you? Shay, how are you? Nicole says, hello, hello. There's Heidi, hello. Fly already smelling the ingredients. I totally agree with you. But Dakota, you got to get that fly out of here. Doggone it. Hey, listen, Ron Wilson says, get those thumbs up up. Let's make the thumbs up match with the people that are in here. There's 300, I can see everybody that's in here. 319 people in here. And there's only 111 thumbs up. So we need for the thumbs up to match with the people that are in here. So you may need to back out of the live, give a thumbs up, and then come back into the live, okay? I have some really interesting stuff to talk about. And I also have um, a, so what do I call it? Promo. I have a promo going on. I have a promo going on. And it's going to be um, a nice amount of money taken off of my merch. We have all kinds of new merch. The merch that you all have been asking for, Jeannie Young has it. And I'm going to be telling you all about it, okay? I see she, she R is here. Hello. Carmen. Miss Karen says hello to Kate Coffee. We eight huh? Eight so we have eight new collections in the merch. And I just have to be honest. Oh, Heidi says, that's cool. <laughs> Great. Okay, listen. So how many, how many do we have? <laughs> we have eight new um, Gina Young merch collections. And this is the stuff that you guys have been asking for. When you all talk and you speak to me and you ask me questions, I like to follow through and try my best to... Uh, you know, follow up with that and see how I can uh, uh, accommodate you all, okay? So we have a lot of fun stuff, and already as soon as we posted it, so many people has went over to that link that I put on there, and they have clicked on it, and they are buying the merch like they are nuts. So you don't want to miss this, but we'll talk about it during the, um, you know, when we start cooking, okay? So what we're gonna do, hey Saj, how are you? Patsy Hill is here and Tea Cakes is here. Shannon, how are you? Oh, Shay says, oh, is that Polo? Yes, it is, he's such a baby. Isn't he sweet, guys, look at him. Oh, they still don't feel the greatest from their uh, shots, you know, but they're okay. He was just scratching my leg, so I figured I'd pick him up. Yes, eight new collections in the merch. Oh my goodness, it's so exciting. But like I said, we'll talk all about it. Where's Prince? Give me, give me Prince and I'll pick him up so he can say hi. We're gonna get started in about five to seven minutes. We want to give a few more people some time. There's Prince, guys. Hi, sweetie pie. We wanna give um, a few more people some time to come in to um, the live, and then we'll get started, okay? We're gonna have fun making chocolate chip cookies, making them Gina Young style, okay? Uh, she said, hi, Princey, Princey. <laughs> oh, we call him Princey. <laughs> and we also call him Pee Pee. <laughs> I don't know where I got the name Pee Pee, but I love to call him Pee Pee. Yes, can you say hi? Look how he's got his arms wrapped around me. <laughs> He always wraps his arms around you. I love you, Poop Poop. Okay, get out of here. Get out of here. Okay. So now, 
for the merch, for the merch, for the merch, the promo code is YOUNG22, and I'm going to show you. All right, the promo code is YOUNG22. That's the promo code that you will be using, okay? And... <clears throat> It's the young, the young 22 is all capital and there's no spaces, okay? So young is spelled in capital letters and you're gonna get $12 off your order. $12 is a lot, listen here. $12 is a whole lot, especially for this merch. There was a lot of work, blood, sweat, and tears put into this merch. It really was and um, I think you guys deserve it. You ask for it and we deliver. I want a dog like that, says Paula Clark. Well, Paula, it is, um, thank you, Sonia. It is um, uh, a teacup Morky, M-O-R-K-I-E. They are mixed with um, Yorkie and the Maltese. And they are hyperallergenic, they don't shed, and they are very, very, very smart. And they don't get any bigger. So I love those three things about this specific doll, okay? And guess what? We got aprons now, we got aprons! And we have like a tote bag, like for when you guys go out and get my ingredients that you're gonna need to cook, Jeannie Young style cooking, what, you know. Um, I got a tote and it says, um, what does it say on it? <laughs> Let me look. It says, it says, it says, and it comes in all colors, right? It says Gina Young's ingredient bag, and I think it's the cutest thing here. Okay, so I'm showing you this color here. It's like a mauve color, right? But it comes in all different colors. So, you know, when you go out and get your ingredients, when you're making Gina Young's recipes, you're going to want one of these. There's all kind of stuff. There's hoodies, there's t-shirts, but I'm going to stop talking about it because I'm going to let y'all go over and check it out. All right, let's give it about three more minutes and we will get started. I have a Chawini dog named Luna. Oh, that's so cute. Thank you, Shay, for welcoming um, Malene Dickerson. Malene Dickerson, welcome and thank you for coming in. I'm so excited. Looks like my shirt is drying up a little bit. Uh, okay, Coffee says that's too cute. <laughs> Okay, great. Oh, the aprons. The aprons is cooking Gina Young style. Just, just a quick, comes in all kinds of colors. <laughs> mm -mm. I have a solid black cat. His name is Panther. I call him Mr. P. Oh, that's so cute. Mr. P. <laughs> all right. I have a Husky Maltese. Her name is Nana Pudding. Oh, <laughs> that's so cute. Nana Pudding, like banana pudding. Is she like yellow color? Where is the link? I can't see it. Okay, says Sharper's Cat. Where is the link? We're going to show you right now. So when you're in community. So, so, so when so you're in the community. Okay. Go to the community. Um... Is there any way we can put that in the description? Yes. In the description okay. of this live? Okay, we're gonna put the link in the description of this live. So at the bottom of the description in this live that we are actually on now, we're gonna put the link, right? But we also have the link in a community post that we posted um like maybe a half an hour ago. I'm gonna put these microphones on so we'll lose connection. Well, not connection. You'll hear the volume go in and out, but then it'll come right back in, okay? My Holy King, how are you? Welcome back. All right, I'm putting the mic on. Don't nobody freak out on me. Nobody freaking out on me today, okay? All right, we got Valium. Get my baby on here. I finally called a live. Hi, Gina. Says, true. What, what's your name? True in love. Okay. 
True in love, welcome and thank you for coming in. Everybody, welcome. True in love to the live. Okay, okay, so I'm going to show you all. Uh-oh, you don't want to show them all that. Gina, all you're missing is something that says, with God on your side, you can do all things. Listen, listen. I know. I totally know. I was going to say, you can cook with Gina on your side. I do remember I... I I told, I told my people that was making the merch that I wanted one that said, I can do all things with Gina on my side. But also, I, I can do one with God on my side, all things is possible. You're absolutely right. I, I, Lisa says, I love chocolate chip cookies. Well, listen, you're in for a treat because we're going to have fun today. Okay? Okay. So here, here's the link. It'll be highlighted in blue under the description today. That's what it's going to look like. You see that? It says, check out my merch. And you're going to click on that blue thing right there. That's the link. It'll take you right there. Now, if you're ever watching one of my lives or one of my videos, and you look underneath, the, like so the video's here, you look underneath the video on your phone, like you'll see little samples of the merch and you click on it and it takes you straight to the store okay but we'll talk all about it okay we, we are going to talk all about it how many of you before we get started um how many of you all are making cookies with me today commercial uh, okay you make a cookie called all day yum cookie oh yum Jason okay looks like you're fe I'm feeling good today I'm feeling good today I had a little upset stomach right before I got started give me hearts if you're making cookies with Gina Young today I am says Raymond okay juice Miller says me and Heidi says I am and Ida says I am K coffee's cooking Mildred's cooking okay we got we listen listen we're gonna have so much fun making sure my mic is on can you all hear me good? <coughs> okay, great. I'm going to make sure I wash my hands and my arms up very well since I was holding the puppies, you know. There's some puppy police, you know, there's some puppy police in here. It's going to say, oh, she was holding the puppy, you know. But I'll make sure I wash my arms and my hands very well, okay? Show those hearts. Thank you, Ron. Okay, great. We're cooking. We are cooking. So now, before, I'm just watching you love your channel. Okay, that's fine, Andrea Sanders. Thank you for coming in. Tyrese, how are you? I'm cooking with you, Gina. Okay, this is great. I love your hair. I'm not cooking, says Eula. Okay, thank you, and it's okay that you're not cooking with me, okay? Uh, now we got even better light. Okay, okay, this is great. So now... Okay, Tyrese gives heart, so he says, I'm baking those cookies. All right, this is great. So now, let's talk about something kind of funny. For this recipe, for this recipe, Nate Doug, we are not using baking powder. We're using baking soda. So if you purchase baking soda this time you're in luck because <laughs> we're not using baking powder we're using baking soda okay <laughs> i'm just watching almost forgot says maggie i'm baking with you today says diamond okay all right sounds good oh, he says oh no <laughs> Okay, okay, Raven says I got baking soda. Okay, this is great. Nate, I tell you one thing, you better not have went out and got baking powder. <laughs> Tyrese is laughing. <laughs> Cause y'all y'all know, y'all know the whole thing that went down, right? Okay, 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 okay. So now what I want to do, 
is I'm going to make my way around, get my arms and hands clean. I got bacon soda this time. Okay, great, Tyrese. <laughs> All right. Okay. 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 <laughs> I have done that in the past. Yes. All right. So let's go over the ingredients and then Gina Young will make my way around there. I was going to do a whole segment today where I was in pajamas, but I really wasn't feeling the pajamas. So here we are, you know, we're, we're here and we're, I'm in regular clothes. <coughs> okay. You will need Hold on, let me get my paper here. Hold on, guys. <coughs> I do still have somewhat of a cough, so please forgive me if I happen to cough. I'm so sorry. So, if you need, I was going to do in jammies, but I wanted to get dressed today. And plus, <coughs> excuse me, and plus I have somewhere that I have to go. Um, I got to go to Sam's Club and I got to get some goodies because we got some special event going on, okay? So I have to do this sometime this evening. Okay, so let me go over the ingredients for those of you that may not be sure of the ingredients. Dakota, what are you doing? What is that? What are you doing? What's he doing? What are you doing? Huh? Okay, what well, you guys are going to need a half a cup of butter room temperature, which is a stick of butter room temperature. Okay, if your butter somehow is not room temperature, you you can turn around and literally just nuke it for just five to ten seconds, not to melt it. It's very important that you don't melt it, just to get it soft a little bit. Okay, okay, so one stick of butter. Your butter is supposed to be unsalted, but if you have salted butter, guess what? It's okay, I promise you, okay? Because if your butter is salted, then you're just gonna leave out the salt in the recipe, okay? All right, one stick of butter room temperature, one large egg, one teaspoon of vanilla, okay, extract. Let's see, you use, let me see what you're saying. I use lard instead of butter, okay. One teaspoon of vanilla extract, a vanilla bean if you are able to find it, okay? And the vanilla bean is really for extra vanilla flavor, but if you couldn't find the vanilla bean or you just didn't want to get it, it's okay, I promise, okay? No freaking out on me, okay? So you're going to need a half a cup of white sugar. Okay, let me see what he's saying. Raymond says, never been to Sam's Club or Costco. I might go broke seeing all those products. <laughs> oh, it's, it's, they're nice stores. They really are. Okay, half a cup of white sugar, half a cup of brown sugar, one and one-fourths cup of all-purpose flour, one tablespoon of cornstarch, really interesting ingredient there. And I will be talking about what the cornstarch does, Okay a half a teaspoon of baking soda, and I always use a little tiny bit more, okay? A pinch of salt, and then one and a half cups of semi-sweet chocolate chips, and crushed pecans if you want. You don't have to put pecans or any kind of nuts in it if you don't want to, okay? How about we get started? How about we get started? Let's turn this camera around. Let's have some fun. Let's have some fun for a while, all right? Nate, dog, I got my lip gloss very close by. <laughs> I know you said you can't stand it, but I love it. <laughs> you made it. Welcome, Susie Q. Oh, thank you, Ty. All right, let me flip it around, everybody. Saj, how are you today? All right, looks like we got a good view, right? Give a thumbs up, make the thumbs up match with the people that are in here. If you're not giving a thumbs up, maybe you just want to be disrespectful. I don't know. <laughs> not really, but why not give a thumbs up when it doesn't cost, you know? <laughs> you can always come back in. 
It doesn't cost you. It doesn't cost you to subscribe either. <laughs> Shay is laughing at me. All right, let me get my apron on so we can have the time of our lives. I'm going to need that fan back on because, you know, once we get started cooking, it gets hot in here. And somebody said the other day, they said, okay, so they said when you get hot in the kitchen, that means you are, uh, like, really cooking in that kitchen, you know. And I said, oh, yeah, I agree with you. I totally agree. All right. I'm in the restroom. I'm getting ready to wash my hands. My husband had to run and go to the some type of car dealership because he wanted to get four tires for our truck. So they just put, I'm washing my hands and my arms. They just finished putting the new tires onto the truck and they sent the Uber to picking back up. So that was great. <clears throat> Let's have fun. Time to rock and roll. Okay, you got that camera this way and can they see all the ingredients? Okay. All right, so now, guess what's nice about today? I mean, and this is like so great. What's nice about today, where's the other puppy at? Okay. What's nice about today, would you ever do a Zoom for us? Uh, uh, a lot of people have asked, and I, I think I might, like on a Saturday night or something, maybe I will, okay? Um, and maybe I will, we'll just see, okay? Because I, like I said, I see a lot of people are totally asking me to do it. Oh, what I was going to say, what's nice about today and um, the cookie recipe that we're doing today? We're mixing it all up by hand, okay? So when I, when I say that, what I mean is you don't have to use a stand-up mixer. You don't have to use a handheld mixer. We're mixing it up by hand just by using a simple soft spatula and or a spoon. How about it? I'm really making it easy for you guys, okay? Sonia said the Zoom is fun. Okay, I know she was, she was one of the people that said, um, I joined, she told me she joined a Zoom with another YouTuber and she said it was totally fun. So I, I feel like I'm going to wind up having to do one for you guys because you are so interested in it. Okay, so now we got our butter at room temperature. If you are the person that did not take your butter out in enough time, you nuke it, but don't you dare. Nuke it too long in the microwave where you melt it because we don't want to melt it. Like I said, start it at five seconds and fill it. See if it's soft. If it's not, put on another five seconds. Fill it. See if it's soft. When it's soft and not melted, you take it out, okay? All right, I'm just going to clear everything so you all can have a good visual of what we're going to be doing. Thank you. Let's see. <laughs> we have to put our elbow grease into it, Gina. Yes. Okay, where is my, okay, I need the charger for the computer so I don't lose people's messages. I want to be able to read the messages, right? So here in a couple of days, we will have a really interesting uh, couple of days of video for you all. Something that you guys like. So this will be exciting. If your pecans are not chopped, because mines aren't chopped, we're going to take like, we're gonna, I'm going to grab my knife now. Well, where's the knife that I want to use? Here it is. We're going to take a good knife and we're going to chop the pecans up a little bit. Okay. 
All right. I usually do this all, have everything. Let's see. What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing here? Now you guys can see me. So I want you all to get two bowls out, you know, just like two mixing bowls, okay? One of the mixing bowls is going to be used for your wet ingredients. The other mixing bowl is going to be used for the dried, and then we're going to mix the two together, okay? Oh, yes, this is going to be some good cookies. Miss Gina is adding pecans. You bet I am. And now listen, there's going to be the people. Oh, thank you, Ron. There's going to be um, the people that say, you know, you have somebody in your family that's allergic to nuts, you're allergic to nuts, or you just don't like them. So for this recipe, just don't use them, okay? It's not going to mess the recipe up if you don't use them, okay? No worries. When you come into uh, Jeannie Young's Live, there's absolutely no worries, okay? I'm opening up my uh, cornstarch because this is new. Uh-oh, Ty, thank you. Gina, you're looking cute, cute today. Well, thank you. <laughs> All right. So now I have some plastic wrap. Um, if you don't have plastic wrap, no worries. But we're going to do something really interesting with the plastic wrap. If you have cookie dough left over, I'm going to show you how to put the cook, roll the cookie dough into a, like a roll. You know, like the kind you would purchase at your supermarket, right? And then we're going to wrap it up in plastic wrap and kind of twist the edges and throw it in the refrigerator for a later date. So maybe tomorrow or next week when you want to bake cookies, all you have to do is cut a slice off. Put it on the baking dish, uh, baking pan, and bake those babies, okay? We will be cooking our cookies on 325 degrees today for around about 12 to 15 minutes. Typically, it's usually 12 minutes, okay? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? If you're ready, somebody say, Gina, we're, we've been ready. <laughs> I know somebody's going to really say it, Gina, we've been waiting. It's just you keep on talking. <laughs> Oh, Nick, oh, you said, oh, no, I have chocolate chips. Okay, let me see. Is that Susie? It's okay. You are supposed to buy semi-sweet. No worries. Listen, there's always a way around things. I don't want you to freak out, okay? Because chocolate chip cookies, are, uh, I'm sorry, chocolate chips are fine. If you didn't buy the semi-sweet, it's okay. It'll work out, okay? I promise you. And you make sure after yours are done, you let me know how they turned out, okay? You're going to say, girl, that is good. Okay, but just then you know next time to get the semi-sweet, okay? Gina, you're just fine. <laughs> All right, thank you. I will grab out the salt because I will need some salt, okay? Um, because my butter is unsalted. Please keep in mind that if your butter is salted, you're not going to use the pinch of salt, okay? So now, like I said, my arms and my hands are nice and impeccably clean. Let's get started. So now, here's what we're going to do. We are going to start off with one and one-fourths cup of all-purpose flour. And when you measure your flour out, I want you to take like a butter knife or something that, not this part that goes down, but you're going to take the straight edge and you're going right across your um, uh, measuring cup, <laughs> just like this, to take off any excess. Because when you're baking, it's very important that you have correct measurements. If you don't, it won't turn out right. But so we're going to put the flour in, put like a plate underneath it, because you're going to have some excess uh, flour that falls off. And then you can just put it in a Ziploc bag or back into your flour bag later. Okay, so watch this. One and one-fourths cup of flour. Let's measure it together, okay? How many of you are so stinking excited? I hope you are. I hope you are. 
Uh oh, Ty says, I, or, or Ty says, Aunt Susie Q, I can't cook, and even if I could, I wouldn't want to bake. At some point, I'll get a wife for all the kitchen stuff. <laughs> oh, that's okay. But you know, you can learn. You can absolutely learn. And if not, like you said, you may find, come across a wife that can cook for you. Because I tell you what, my husband came across a wife that can cook for him. <laughs> because he doesn't cook. <laughs> now, although he can make, I, I do like to say, he can make great steaks. He can make, you know, I'm going to do like this. Just, I'm not patting it down, though. All right? So now, whoop, how about it? Pretty simple, right? You bet it was. So now we have one even cup of flour. Get it into the biggest bowl. Okay? And now we want to measure out one-fourth cup of flour. Okay? Where's my one-fourth at? Did I ever find it? Oh, I sure did. Okay? And like I said, the excess flour, you just put it back into your flour bag a little later. Okay? Here's the one-fourth cup. Let's do the same thing, a little karate chop, and then zoop, we got one-fourth, okay? Add it in with this. Get all that out of there, okay? All right, so now that we have that part done, I'm looking at some messages here, see what you guys are talking about. You don't have to sift it, don't worry, but I tell you what, if you're that person that wants to sift it, hey, you go ahead and sift it. Okay, but you don't have to, okay? No worries. Okay, okay, okay. So now, we're going to turn around, and I want to put a half a teaspoon of baking soda into our uh, flour. A half a teaspoon, okay? I always do a half a teaspoon, and then really I always do a little tiny bit extra, okay? So let's get that. I got a half a teaspoon here, and then I'll try my best to level it off by using the box, okay? Half a teaspoon. Boom, ba dum dum Just like so. And a little tiny bit more, just because I always do. All right. And then we're going to turn around and we're going to put, um, and now as I use the ingredients, I then take the ingredients that's been used and then I get them out of my way so that you know that you've used them. So I'm going to take these and put them over on my dining room table and we'll clean that up a little later. <coughs> Excuse me. I will wash my hands. <clears throat> Excuse me, since I coughed. <clears throat> I don't know how long it's going to take for my infamous cough to leave, but please bear with me, you know? All right, hands are nice and clean. All right, one and one fourth cup of all purpose flour. We did go in with a half a teaspoon and a little tiny bit more of baking soda, okay? And now, we're gonna use one tablespoon of the cornstarch, okay? Is this a teaspoon? Here's the tablespoon, okay? One leveled off tablespoon, and you can level it off once again using the back of your knife. Pretty simple, right? Now, I want to talk about the cornstarch. I know right now somebody's saying, corn, corn. She's, she's using cornstarch, right? Yes, and I'm using a tablespoon of it. What does the cornstarch do, you may ask? Well, the cornstarch is going to give you a chewy cookie. You ever had like a cookie that was just totally crispy? I mean, it was good, but it was crispy. That's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a cookie that's crispy at the bottom, buttery and crispy at the bottom, but in the inside, it's nice and chewy. That's what the cornstarch will do. It's totally nuts, right? 
So I'm putting my cornstarch away because I'm done. You know, the cornstarch has done its job. Okay? So now in with your dry mixture, you should have one and one-fourths cup of flour, a half a teaspoon of baking soda, and one tablespoon of uh, cornstarch. Now we can go ahead and mix the ingredients all together. I'm just going to use a soft spatula, okay? Pretty simple, right? Get it well incorporated, making sure that everything is mixed up. We're also going to put a pinch or two of salt in. Believe it or not, salt is really interesting in desserts. Salt kind of gives it like that umami, you know, make them say, ooh, mommy. What did she do? Well, she just put a pinch of salt in it to really brighten up all of the flavors, okay? So now let's go ahead, and if your butter is salted, you'll skip this part. If your butter's unsalted, then you get a pinch. What's a pinch? Do you know what? I'm going to show you. Okay, let's use two pinches. Just that. Just that. That's it. We're not trying to make this salty. We want to give it umami. <laughs> make them say umami when they eat it, okay? <laughs> I know. I'm totally nuts, right? It's okay. It's okay if you say it. Go ahead and say it in the comments. My husband tells me I'm nuts all the time. But he does tell me it's a good nuts, you know. <laughs> there's a crazy nuts and then there's a good nuts. <laughs> all right, so now that we have all of that well combined just like so, and really take the time to mix it all in. Let's set this aside. Okay, my salt is done, so I'm moving it out my way. The purpose for showing you guys and telling you that I'm moving things out of my way that I'm not using is really just to be honest. It's just to help you guys and show you how to be stress-free in your kitchen, you know? So what I'm doing right now is I'm wiping my board down so we can move on to the next thing. Okay, if you come down, you need to come down on, on that, Dakota. Okay, no, bring your, push your camera down. Okay, so now... What we're going to do, let's get started on the wet part of the ingredients, okay? So we're going to use a half a cup of brown sugar. We're going to use a half a cup of white sugar, okay? And now, this is a little bit different. When you are, let me make sure this is a half cup. When you're measuring brown sugar, uh, brown sugar is a little different than the white, uh, um, than white sugar or, or flour. You know, with the white sugar and the flour, you just whoop, you do like that to level it off. With brown sugar, you pack it, okay? You pack it into the measuring cup to make it right, to make it, you know, what it should be, okay? So now, what I'm doing, you can literally see me pushing down on that brown sugar to making sure, you know, push, push, push to making sure you have a half a cup, okay? And really, it's that simple. Let's get it into a bowl, a half a cup. All right? And now we want to do a half a cup of white sugar, okay? As you get done with your ingredient, you move it away from you so you know that you have used it. Because I feel like a lot of beginner um, people that's cooking, or even anybody, even myself, if the ingredient is still there, I'm going to question myself if I've used it. But if I've moved it out of the way, you know, if I've completely moved it out of the equation, oh, I know I've used it, you know, and it really does help. So we're going in with some white sugar, and we're using a half a cup. And once again, I need to bring something into the equation so we can level it off, okay? Make sure you got a correct half a cup. I'm a little short. Not short in height, but I'm a little short on my sugar. <laughs> I know some of you saying, yeah, you are short, Gina. Yeah, uh -huh. I know you're saying that. Here we go. Got the half cup. Boom, bam. Get in there. So this right here is called our wet ingredients. Although you might say right now, okay, why do you call it wet ingredients and it's sugar? Well, because um, I don't know. <laughs> I, I do know, but I don't know how to explain it right now. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, but it's a wet ingredient. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get our one egg.
put your one egg right in and then also grab your vanilla extract. All right, I'm gonna grab my egg and I'll be right back in 0.2 seconds. How you guys doing? I'm gonna make chocolate chip cookies too, says Joey. Okay. All right, Joey, welcome. Thank you for coming in and joining us. Hey, listen, we're gonna have the time of our life today. I got my, um, my egg. Go ahead and crack your egg. I will be cracking my egg into a separate bowl just to make sure I don't have any eggshells. And also to make sure that my egg is nice and fresh, okay? Got a nice fresh egg, no eggshells. Get it right in, okay? How about it? Wet ingredients, vanilla. You see, I'm using the cap for my vanilla. Let's use one, and then let's use a half, okay? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Get in there, love me some vanilla extract. You bet I do, okay? So I want to put my vanilla, my sugar, and my brown sugar away from me so I know that I've used it already, okay? I'm going to look at some comments. I'm going to see how everybody's doing. And if you have a question, when I walk back through, Now's the perfect time for you. What's going on? What is it? Low battery. Low battery on what? Okay, hold on. Low battery on what? This, that's why it's so dark. This cannot be a low battery. This is not a low battery. I charged it. No, 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 no. It's not, it's not low. I, I charged everything. Hold on, guys. Dakota's driving me totally nuts right now. Listen, if this is low battery, it's going to tell you. Okay, you just got a lot of light outside. Okay. It, you got a lot of light outside. Let me look at the video. It, the video's nice and bright. What's happening is we have, um, let me explain something to Dakota. We got a lot of light coming in through the living room. So what you're looking at through the camera, it looks dim. But what I'm looking at right here and what they can see is nice and bright. Okay. So the camera will tell you when it's low. Right? Right? So don't assume. Okay? <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Walnuts will work too. Yes, thank you, um, Ron. All right, so now, in our wet ingredients, we have a half a cup of white sugar, a half a cup of packed brown sugar. We got one egg, and we have our cap full of vanilla extract. Okay? So now, I want to put in that stick of butter that is at room temperature, and we're going to cream together these ingredients. Um, I have found in the past that sometimes I would just cream together my butter and sugar only, but I've also found out that if you cream together your butter, your sugar, your vanilla, and your egg, it doesn't make a difference. So I just do it this way now, okay? All right, so now, what we will be doing is I want you guys to take a rubber spatula. If you have it, if you don't have a rubber spatula, then you use the back of the spoon. You see how I'm, you see this motion that I'm doing to my hand? I'm kind of like mushing it. That's what I want you to do to this to get it nice. And, and you can stir it at times too. But really get it mixed up and get the butter and the sugar well incorporated together, okay? So that's what we're going to do with our wet ingredients. Okay, kind of mush everything through. Get the butter and sugar creamed up. And then what we're going to do after we get that done, and you'll literally see this turn a brighter color, and the sugar will begin to turn somewhat silent. Okay, let's do it, and we can do it together. Okay, so I was wanting to see if you guys had any questions. So now's the perfect time. Was it a teaspoon or a tablespoon of cornstarch? A tablespoon of cornstarch. And a half a teaspoon of uh, baking soda. Okay? And I use a little tiny bit more of the baking soda. So now you can see that the consistency very quickly is beginning to change. And we're going to do this until it gets kind of like nice and fluffy. How about it? 
Listen, if I haven't said I hope you guys are having a great day today, I hope you all are having an amazing day today with God on your side. Always with God on your side, okay? Because li listen, in life, we can't do anything in life without God on our side. You know, when you're walking and you're strutting out there or you head out that door or you head into your household or you head out there into the world, you got to have God on your side. Because if you don't, you're missing something. <laughs> you don't want to be missing nothing. All right, let's do this for, I, I'd say like a good three to four minutes, and then we're done with this, okay? And then I'll show you all how to open up your, excuse me, <coughs> and I'm going to wash my hands since I coughed. <coughs> I'm going to show you guys how to open up the vanilla bean. <coughs> Please bear with me on my cough. I was sick. And I'm getting over the cold, but I do have a lingering cough. So that's why I'm washing my hands again. Got to be a good chef and wash them hands. You know, make sure they're impeccably clean. You got to be clean. All right. This right here, believe it or not, it's done. And you'll actually see in here that the sugar, it's silent now. And this has begun to get kind of nice and frothy. That's what we're looking for. It's beautiful. And if you wanted to sneak a little taste, go ahead. Because off camera, I always sneak a taste of this part. I, I do. I have to admit it. I have to admit it. It's true. Okay. So for those of you, I love this group. Everyone is so nice, says Two Acres. Um, hey, welcome, Two Acres. Thank you for coming in. I pray. I always pray before we do our live that everyone comes as they are. I want everybody to have happiness, a joyful heart, a peaceful mind. I want everybody to be happy. You know, like I pray this in Jesus Christ's name every time before I go live. If I can get this open, we'll be set. But I do. I pray for you all to have happiness. I want everybody to be nice to one another. You know, this is a, a nice, clean channel. And uh, we're, we're going to keep it that way, you know. All right, so now here's what's going to happen really, really interesting. Okay, so I have a little paring knife. You can use a butter knife. You could even use um, a spoon if you wanted to. This is what a vanilla bean looks like. Kind of interesting, right? So look at me and let's talk about something. Have you all ever had, put, put that down. Have you all ever had like the vanilla ice cream and you got the little tiny black stuff going through it? What the black stuff growing through it is flavor. It's vanilla bean. Inside of here, there is vanilla bean flavor that is like beautiful. Okay? So I'm going to show you how to open it. So if you come down here and take a look, we're going to cut the sides off. Okay? And then I'm going to zip and, and like cut through it. You're going to get a little bit of black stuff on your fingers and under your nails, but we can just wash our hands when we're done, okay? If you open it up, you're going to see some stuff, okay? And I'm going to scrape my knife on the stuff, and look at that. i got to smell it. Oh, my goodness. It smells like cardboard, right? <laughs> it does, but guess what, girl? Listen here, it's some flavor in there you don't want to miss. Using a real vanilla bean is going to give your cookies such a flavor that is outstanding. This stuff right here, that's the good stuff. Okay, so inside of here, there's nothing. There's nothing. It's, it's like a shell. Throw it away. So now, bring our wet into the equation. Scrape it off. It looks like a little bit, though, Gina. Is it going to flip? You bet it's going to flavor it. Okay, so we've got it all in there. Wash your hands. You may need to get under your nails to get that black stuff off. Okay, so if at any time you see something under my nails, I don't want nobody freaking out. Don't freak out on me and say, ooh, what is that? Well, it's vanilla bean. <laughs> I'm trying to get it out right now, so hopefully I got it all out. Okay, so look. Come look how it smears. Listen, I right now I am smearing 
vanilla flavor going all through there. Yes, and mm, <laughs> baby, look at that. That's what you want. This is what you want. If Tina Young is getting you all excited right now, somebody give me a heart. Somebody give me a heart. Somebody give me a heart right now because I'm getting myself excited. <laughs> Sonia, wow, I learn something weekly here all the time. Sonia, that's great. I am here for you. I swear I am here for you. And I want, I, I'm so serious when I say this. I want to teach the world how to cook. I want to teach you all kinds of stuff. Thank you for the hearts. <laughs> I love you guys. I, I, I want to teach the world how to cook. Jeannie Young style stress free. So now that we've done that, we got some amazing stuff going on, okay? And like I said, feel free to taste that. Go ahead, go ahead on in, do it. Because if I was off camera, honey, I'd be, been done tasted two, three times. Okay? Hearts, hearts, hearts. I love you guys. <laughs> okay? So now, here's what happens. This right here, you can keep it closed up. Put it in your pantry for the holiday. You might want to make a um, sweet potato pie, um, a pumpkin pie with me during the holidays. And you say, oh, Gina, I got that, that vanilla bean left over. Can I put some in? I'm going to say, heck yeah, you know. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to take some pecans. And we need to, um, you may have purchased your pecans already chopped up. I told my shopper to give me the chopped up kind. They didn't get it, so maybe they didn't have it. So we're not going to freak out about it. It's okay. I just appreciate them, you know, shopping for me. So if you don't have the kind that are already chopped up, go through it a little bit and chop it up. You don't want big, huge pieces in your, you know, in your cookies, okay? But if yours are already chopped up, you can just skip this step, okay? So take the time to chop these up. Now, when it comes to the uh, walnuts or your crushed pecans, I'm sorry, we're going to be using one cup. And you measure them after you chop them up, okay? So I'm going to be using this same cup here that I use for my flour. And you see how we're kind of clearing out things as we go? Like, I love that. I can still see a little chunk of butter, uh, of butter in my bag. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. I can too. It's okay. I, prom I promise you. Listen to me. We're right here. I understand. So that just means that your butter may have not been all the way room temperature, but I promise you it's okay. Okay, your cookies, I'm telling you, your specific cookies are going to turn out just fine. Because here in a few minutes, um, you know, by the time we put these in the oven, oh, that butter would have been done melted, you know. Okay? So now that we have our pecans or your walnuts or whatever type of nut you decided you wanted to use, nice and chopped up, let's go ahead. And you see I didn't, you know, I didn't mince them. Just the chopping, that's fine. Okay? Let's get one cup just like so. And you don't, you, you don't have to really like level this out, okay? We got one cup, boom, boom. Let's set it aside, because we'll come back for that a little later. Can you actually turn the fan towards me, please? All right, and now, what we're gonna do, let's see, t when you turn it, I'll tell you when I can actually feel the fan. It does get hot. Once we start cooking in here, Jeannie Young said, you're, you're going to get hot. Turn it this way. Keep, nope, turn it this way. Oh, there it is. I feel it. I feel the air. I need it to, you may want to turn the air on. I feel the air now. <laughs> Denise, Gina is definitely multitasking. You go, girl. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Listen, I love you guys so much from the bottom of my heart. Okay, so now, uh, chocolate chip cookies. There is a person in here that got chocolate. I'm, I said chocolate chip cookies. There is a person that purchased regular chocolate chips. It's okay, okay? Don't freak out. Um, we're using semi-sweet morsels. And the amount that we're going to use, and let me look in my, we're using one and a half cups. 
Here's a half cup here. And then we're going to get a one cup. If you want to use less of the chocolate chips, absolutely you can. Okay? So you just put your half a cup there. I think I got a baby that needs to use the restroom. Polo, you need to go pee pee? Go, go pee pee. All right, let me get my one cup because we need to measure out one cup as well. Okay, the dogs are going out. Princey, you got to go, honey. Don't go far. They're heading out. They ran outside. I tell you what, I love those babies so much. My husband is nuts over those dogs, and they love him half to death. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> They're outside. <laughs> They're so cute, so stinking cute. All right, I'm coming back here in just a second. I'm just wiping my face off. Make sure if you have puppies around, don't drop none of the chocolate chips because you know they can't have chocolate. You know, sometimes when I'm cooking in here, oh, I drop all kinds of stuff, lettuce and you know, carrots and little peas and stuff on the floor. I definitely leave it for a while. You know, I don't clean it up right away um, because the dogs like to grab, you know, like a carrot and, and celery and stuff. But I, I'm always very, very careful when it comes to the chocolate chips or raisins because they cannot have it. So be very careful not to spill it if you have those little babies around, okay? All right, so now what we're going to do is it's time to mix up everything. So if you look around right now in your kitchen and you say, okay, looks like I put everything in there. If all of your ingredients are away from you, that means you've done something right, okay? We got our dried ingredients, <coughs> excuse me. We have our wet ingredients, the wet, it's going to go right in with our dried. Let's do this together. If you got like um, measuring spoons and all that stuff, you can leave that one tablespoon measuring spoon out because we're going to do something really special. All this other stuff, put it in your sink in some hot soapy water, okay? And then I'm left with a clean baking sheet that we will be using for our cookie dough, you know. All right? So right now, you should have your one cup of pecans, your one and a half cup of um, sweet morsels, and a one tablespoon, measuring spoon. Let's go ahead. You got both babies in here? Did they use the bathroom? Okay. You can go ahead and take our wet ingredients and put it right into our dried ingredients. And here's what I want you to do. Don't you leave none of that wet ingredient in the bowl, okay? You must scrape it all out. So whatever you got to do, like I'm using a soft spatula, if you don't have a soft spatula, you use a spoon, you use something to get all that out, okay? Because all of that is ingredients that you're going to need, okay? So do your best to, to get it out of that bowl and get it mixed into this here bowl, okay? How many of you are having so much stinking fun right now? I'm having fun. It's Saturday, and I am having the time of my life with you guys. Linda, thank you for the hearts. I love you, honey. Thank you for coming in and joining me. Everybody, to all of my, um, my mods, my two mods, thank you. I love you guys. And also, to all of my old subscribers, my new subscribers, new viewers, everybody, welcome. Welcome to Gina Young's Live, where we have so much stinking fun here. Nice, clean fun here at the Young's house. Okay, so you see how I'm really taking the time to scrape everything out, even though I want to leave a little bit in there so I can lick the bowl. But you need it in the mix, okay? You can taste some of the cookie dough <laughs> if you want to, you know. All right, so many of you right now, you've poured in your wet to your dry. So what do we do now? We're going to mix it. Okay? No handheld mixer is needed. No stand-up mixer is needed. Just a little bit of elbow grease. This elbow, 
That's where the grease comes from, the strength in your elbow and your hand. Okay? So let's do it. Let's do it together. I believe I'm going to start off with my small rubber spatula. If you don't have a rubber spatula, nobody freak out. Just use a spoon and let's get everything well incorporated. Okay? How about it? You can do it. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Okay? Come on. Come on and come on and come on. Look at this. And it's so soft. It's so supple. And it's such a beautiful... This is relaxing. I just have to come in and say how relaxing this is, right? Fun time to Gina, says Wanda McMorris. How are you, Wanda? How's Wanda doing? Loving this. My first live with you, Gina. And definitely not my last. Denise, welcome. Thank you for coming in. Everybody welcome, Denise. Denise, we appreciate you. Um, we welcome you. You are more than welcome to come back anytime. Like I said, we have nice, clean fun here. And then after we're done, or when things are cooking or baking in the oven, I'll actually come and sit down, come in front of the camera, talk to you guys, we chat, I answer questions, and we have a lot of fun, okay? <laughs> yes. All right, so look at this. So now everything's looking kind of dried right now. But guess what? That's what you want. One thing you don't want when you're making a cookie dough, you don't want batter like we're making. Uh, if you ever see me tugging here, it's because I'm just making sure my microphone is on. Um, you, you don't want like a wet, pourable batter as if we were making like a cake. You know what I mean? You want it to look like this. You ain't do nothing wrong. You didn't do anything wrong. So now, go ahead. Put your chocolate chips in, semi-sweet, semi or for the person that's using regular, that's fine. No worries. Okay? <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> We're also going to put the nuts for the people that want to use the nuts. If you don't want to use the nuts, then you're just going to skip the process, okay? So now, here's how it's done. You just go in nice and easy doing like a folding motion like this just to get everything incorporated okay how about it okay and it takes a little bit of strength to get your um morsels mixed in and your nuts okay kind of kind of do that same thing where you're you know kind of doing like this okay to get everything in there because sometimes the um nuts and the morsels will kind of stay at the bottom but if you do that motion like this where you're trying to push it down in there, it, it, it'll work out for you, okay? All right, so guess what? We got cookie dough. We got cookie dough. Now, listen, there's people out there. I know you're out there, and I know some of you are right in this chat. You're going to tell me right now, Gina, don't eat the cookie dough because it has an egg in it. And listen, <laughs> listen, I've always tried the cookie dough, and I will try the cookie dough right about now. I must try the cookie dough right now. If I didn't, I wouldn't be Gina Young. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. If it tastes good now, you bet it's going to taste good then. All right. So now, here's what we are going to do. There you go, says Jacqueline. Okay, listen. I like that quote. <laughs> Ty says to, to my holy king. I don't know what he said. Okay, listen. This cookie dough, something really interesting that we're going to do is we're going to turn around and cool our cookie dough. Okay, the purpose for cooling the cookie dough is I, I, through trial and error and through making cookies all of my years of my life. Sometimes I've made delicious cookies, but they've been flat, right? And I'm not happy with that. Or they uh, run together when they cook, 
and then when you take them off of your cookie sheet, you gotta slice them to cut them, to break them open. Don't over flood your um, cookie sheet, number one, so that they don't grow together when they're in the oven, okay? Don't, don't over flood the cookie sheet. That's number one thing that I don't want you to do. Number two, we're gonna take this cookie dough and you could um, take it right now, cover it in plastic wrap and you could put it in the refrigerator. But I found a better way. We're gonna take a tablespoon. This is just my measuring spoon, tablespoon. If you don't have a measuring spoon, just use a, a house tablespoon. And this is how I like to measure my cookies. I kind of like to do a number like this, okay? Kind of pack it just a little bit using one finger. And then we take it out and that's the perfect size that I'm looking for, okay? And it gives you a cute little, you know, a cute little dome, okay? So let's get our cookies onto, and you don't have to push it down, don't do nothing. <laughs> But make up your cookie dough in this manner, okay? All right, look. So do it like that, kind of form it this way. And when it falls out, it falls out, okay? Let's um, put them onto your cookie sheet. And then we put them in the refrigerator for around about 35 minutes, okay? Let them set up in the refrigerator and get to the point to where when they cook, they don't go flat and they don't spread out too far. I want them to be like kind of thick like this. When you put them in the refrigerator, they will be kind of thick, okay? All right, so just a little bit of knowledge there. <laughs> Gina just spitting a little bit of knowledge there. <laughs> All right, so let's do this together. I know I got another cookie sheet, Dakota, if you could please grab it. I know you're not dressed. You might want to change your shirt because you've got a pajama shirt on or something. But you want to grab that other one. <clears throat> and I believe it's literally like right behind me. Okay. Doom, doom, doom. How's everybody doing? That's what I'd like to ask. How are you all doing right now? Uh, Ron says hello to Donna Marie. Teresa or Teresa, she says, okay, I'll try that. Thanks, guys. All right. Is everybody doing okay? I'm here for you. So kind of form it just a little bit. You don't need to roll them into balls, okay? Because this pretty much makes it into a cute little dome. Cute little dome-like cookie, you know? Okay, I hear you at Mr. Real Talk, at Real Talk. When I was a teenager, I would request my birthday cookie from the local cookie store. It had delicious icing. Oh, wow. I'm new to your chat. Hello, I'm enjoying. Lady Smith, welcome. Welcome, Lady Smith. Everyone, welcome, Lady Smith, to the live. Thank you for coming in and joining us. You are more than welcome to come in Every time I go live or check out my videos, you know, welcome. We're glad to have you here. All right. So now I have two cookie sheets. If you don't have two cookie sheets, um, what I'd like for you to do is still continue to make out the desired amount of cookies that you would like to have, you know. Okay. And it, let's just say if at this point, you, uh, Dakota, I don't have them down on my cookies. What, what we got going on with the camera here? Put that down. Sorry, guys. Come down. Okay. Yeah, I want them to be able to see what's going on here. <coughs> okay. So now, if you don't have two cookie sheets, or let's just say that's enough cookies for you. If that's enough cookies for you, what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and put that into the refrigerator. And the leftover cookie dough, I'm going to show you what to do with it and how to close it up, okay? And, and then you can use it for a later date, like tomorrow or next week or whatever. But what I'll be doing is I'm going to be cooking up 
I think I'm gonna cook up maybe one and a half sheets of cookie dough, okay? Just like so in this manner. Give a thumbs up on the way in if you have not done so. You might need to back out as you come in or back out right now to give a thumbs up and then come right back in, okay? It's very important that you give a thumbs up and that you make the thumbs up match with the people that are in here, okay? My dough got stuck into my <laughs> thing here. All right, there we go. So now if you take a look at my sheet, here's what I have. We got dough. Spread your cookies out. You don't want them too close to each other. And you don't want to overwhelm the cookie sheet and put too many on there. Okay, so I'm just going to set this aside. Okay, we have another. <coughs> Excuse me once again. Continue making more if you want. Uh oh, Patricia says, yay, the cookie dough. <laughs> yay. So now I decided not to make the eggnog. I spoke of making eggnog the other day in the live. Because, like I said, I got um, some stuff to do today. I do have to go to Sam's Club sometime this evening before they close, you know. So if I had time, I would love to make homemade eggnog. But if you guys got milk, we're going to have milk and cookies today. Nothing was, has ever been wrong with milk and cookies, right? I think the world loves milk and cookies. <laughs> now, um, for Christmas... I will be making um, homemade cookies, which is most likely gonna be a sugar cookie. And then we turn around and decorate them, you know, with like beautiful colors, like red, green, and white, you know, maybe some blue for snowflakes, you know. Ungreased cookie sheet, thank you. Oh, she says, I, I can't wait. All right, Jacqueline, you make sure you're there because we're gonna have fun. All right, so now what we're going to do at this point is um, I'm going to stop right here. I'm going to put one more cookie on, okay? And then I want to show you guys, if you have leftover dough, what you can do with your cookie dough, okay? Because, like I said, there, you, you, you all might be in a family of just one or just two, or you don't need that many cookies right now and you want to save some cookie dough. If that's the instance, when I come back here in just one second, I'm going to show you what you can do to save your cookie dough. And it saves for a nice amount of time, okay? So now what we're going to do is we have beautiful cookie dough here. Like I said, make sure they're not close together, okay? Let's put these into the refrigerator. Get them nice and cold for around about a half an hour. After that happens... We'll take our cookie dough out, we'll set it on the counter for about, let's just say, five minutes to let some of the chill come off. And then they go in the oven at 325 degrees for about 12 minutes, okay? So let's together put these into your refrigerator, okay? Well, Gina, it can't fit. Make it fit. <laughs> okay, if you have to take it off of here, put it onto a plate, just throw your cookie balls onto a plate, Throw them in the refrigerator so they can cool down, okay? I'll be right back. They don't have to watch me put this in. Cookie doughs into the refrigerator. All right? My refrigerator is looks like a tornado came through. It does. It looks like a tornado just came, just came through. My goodness. All right, I want to wipe off some of my hands. I think Dakota stole some of the cookie dough. Dakota, don't do that. No, you need to wash your hands. Tell him don't do that. I know what he's doing behind my back. <laughs> All right, we got um, some tang I'm pouring here because I am so thirsty right now. Mm. I hope you guys couldn't hear every gulp. <coughs> I felt like you all could hear every single gulp that was going down my throat. Because <laughs> I 
I could hear it. And if the microphone is right there at my throat, I know you guys could hear it. Okay, so if you're that person that has some cookie dough left over or you just want to save some, let me show you what you can do. Okay, so take the dough and kind of push it all to one side because very soon we're going to be pouring it out the bowl. Okay? You're going to take, let me wipe my finger off. <coughs> Excuse me once again. You're going to take plastic wrap. If you don't have plastic wrap, you can use um, parchment paper. You also could use uh, wax paper, okay? Plastic wrap, okay? How interesting. Excuse me. Cookie dough. Get on there. And next week, I might want to make some more cookies. And then again, I might not want to make any more cookies next week, you know? Okay, so you pull this up. And you pull this up, and then we meet the two together, and guess what we can do? We can make somewhat of a log. How about it? Almost as if we were to purchase these at the store already in the log. Okay? So your hands aren't getting messy. You know what a log looks like. You know what that cookie dough log looks like. I know I do because I buy cookies like that all the time. Okay, so that's what I want you to do. You can put the camera down, and they can see me from there. Okay, put it down. All right, take a look. We have a cookie log, okay? All right, so this is what we do. Now we take it, check me out, and you roll it. And then you can roll it again. Okay, and you take your sides and you go in different directions. One going one way, one going the other way. Okay? Make it how you like it. And when you want to use this, okay, you can put this into a freezer bag. Like, take this and put it into a freezer bag. Okay? Let me see if I have one. I don't have, I can't believe I don't have a big one, but I got this one here. Now, um, what you're going to do, you can always label chocolate chip cookies, okay? And you can put the date that you made them, okay? You can even put the date that you want to take them out, okay? Guess what? Um, put this into your refrigerator, and also you can freeze cookie dough, okay? So if you wanted to freeze it, then you turn around and uh, freeze it and bring it out for the holiday. And when you're ready to use it, you unwrap it, and guess what you do? You slice it. Slice that baby. Put it onto a cookie sheet. You got cookies, Gina Young style, okay? Or put it into your refrigerator like I'm doing because I know we're going to make this here in the next couple days. I'm going to slice it. I'm going to have some fresh cookies, okay? I'm going to rewind to hear those gulps again. Oh my goodness, you could? Now don't do that. Why would you do that? Let me hear, I'm going to rewind to hear those gulps again so you guys could hear that. <laughs> that is so nuts. Don't you do that. <laughs> so you could gulp, gulp, gulp. I could hear it. Y'all have to be totally nuts. I'm going to rewind it to hear it. Don't do that because I want to drink my drink right now, but I really don't because it, you're going to rewind to listen to it again. I tried not to gulp that time. Uh -uh. Somebody said, Gina, you was thirsty. Get out of here. Y'all are cracking me up right now. So listen, look what I got here. I got some cute little cookie dough here. I can make up about maybe 10 to 12 cookies anytime I want. Okay, let's get this in. The, we heard it again. That's so funny. 
You guys are so funny. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me once again, and I'm going to wash my hands. And then guess what I'm going to do? I'm washing my hands. I'm going to come around and we can sit and chit chat, if that sounds good. Now, put the timer on because we need the time. Uh, how long these cookies will go into the refrigerator, and then we're going to just be taking them out, putting them in the oven, 325 degrees. Now, go ahead and preheat your oven to 325 degrees right about now, okay? Make sure you don't have anything sitting in your oven because I often do that. I have things sitting in my oven sometimes. I turn my oven on and I totally forget, oh, I had this in the oven. So make sure nothing is in your oven, you know. All right, I'm going to come around and chit-chat with everybody. I hope you guys are having the time of your life because I am. I don't want the music coming on, Dakota. All right, so let's do it. Let's talk. I'll leave the computer. Well, let's see. Yeah, I'll leave the computer here. I love cooking with you. Okay, Jacqueline, this is great. I had some this morning. Let's see. I love this fun viewing and chatting room action. And that's coming from Escape Patient. Um, thank you for coming in, Escape Patient. And welcome to my channel. Everybody, welcome, Escape Patient. Gina, don't put ice in your drink. It will make you cough. Oh, is that right? That's interesting. Okay, so I'm coming around so we can talk, okay? Give me one, a second. Come here, baby. Come sit down. You'll see me here in a second. Who had the Tylenol? Put it up. <coughs> the Tylenol goes in the pantry, not on the kitchen counter. All right, guys, I'm coming around. That was so weird. I'm going to rewind it to hear her gulp in that drink. That is crazy. Like, we heard it again. I'm like, what? This is nuts. <laughs> All right. Okay. So what I'm going to do, while we wait, while we wait on our cookies to, let me see if I can get a good picture. There we go. We'll wait on our cookies to chill down. I want to take at least two, two to three minutes to use the restroom. I'll be right back. Don't you guys go nowhere. We got some cookies to bake, okay? So talk amongst, amongst yourselves. And I will take the microphone off. <laughs> I'm going to take the microphone off while I use the restroom. And I'm so glad I thought about that because if you guys want to hear me gulp the drink, what else do you want to hear? <laughs> I'm, ta I'm taking this thing off. Get off. Okay, okay, listen, seriously, I'll be right back. Two, three minutes. <laughs> be right back.
we're back, we're back, we're back with effect. So now, was there anybody that put the, um, did you put the uh, timer on for me? Don't do it, don't do what? Thank you, Sonia. I, I was thinking about you guys. <laughs> I was thinking about each and every one of you while I was in the restroom. <laughs> I was. <laughs> 19 more minutes. Thank you, Sonia. That's great. Thank you. Yes, clean as you go, because let me show you. Look, and then there's no stress. They're stress-free. Like, there is some dishes. You see them. But we'll handle that. But everything else cleaned up, you know? I love it because you have to uh, be diligent with making sure that, um, you know, you clean up as you go. It, it, it just helps you in the long run. It just helps you in the long run. You hear me? Yes, we're back. You thought I was going to be gone forever. Give a thumbs up. Have the thumbs up match with the people that are in here. All right, I've taken my apron off. I love a clean kitchen. I'd rather have my maid to do the dishes. Oh my goodness. Okay. Hey, that's great. If you have a maid, Nate, that is like, that. that's what, you know, that's great. <laughs> We don't have a maid over here. One of us got to do the dishes. <laughs> I don't have a maid. <laughs> Gina, how can you tell Prince and Polo apart? Um, uh, Prince is lighter in color. He is smaller. His head is smaller. Prince has a curly tail that doesn't uncurl. Polo has a, a straight tail that just does this. Prince's tail does this. Um, Prince is gray and white. Polo is black and tan. Um, Polo's eyes are bigger. Prince is, you know, smaller. So um, now when they were babies, you really couldn't tell. But now that they're older, you can definitely tell them apart. But now people that, you know, that don't know us, they, they can't tell. You know, Polo's right here. He's looking at me like, you talking about me? When I go in the restroom, they go in the restroom with me and they want to be picked up. <laughs> and they just scratch me on my legs until I pick them up. And they just sit there and they just look at me and they just watch me and they're so happy while they're in the restroom with me. I, I will never get that. But ever since they were babies, when they come in there, if I'm in there, uh, I just pick them up. <laughs> and my husband will come in and I'm holding one of the babies and I'm on the toilet and he'll just look at me and he shakes my head. <laughs> he goes out. He's used to it. And uh, if they go in the restroom while he's in there, he'll say, ah, get out of here. <laughs> he'll tell her, ah, ah, get out of here. <laughs> I say, no, they want you to get, pick them up. I said, just pick them up. <laughs> Cats do that too. Okay, yeah, okay. They do, they love me half to death and I love them. You hear me? That was Polo on the couch. Okay, what was, was they doing something on the couch while I was gone? Gina, I would have to have a new tag on them. Let me see. Sonia says, I would have a new tag on them. I guess you used to seeing them. Oh, yeah. Your cat is the same way, Serenity. My cat is always standing by the bathroom door when I come out. Yeah. Gina, girl, that's uh, what took you. Let's see. Gina, girl, that's what took you long. Had you was thinking of, let's see, let's see. Had us thinking. Oh, yeah, I was in there. The dogs was in there. The dogs was in there with me. <laughs> he said the dogs like to smell when you're in there. <laughs> Get <laughs> You are a mess. No, even it doesn't matter what I'm doing in there. They still like to come in there. <laughs> oh, he was standing on the couch. Okay. <laughs> you 
guys are so funny. Oh my goodness, y'all are funny. <laughs> Heidi says, oh no. <laughs> Yeah, Mildred, she says her, her cat does the same thing. <laughs> 14 minutes, yes. And then what we'll do is we're going to take the cookies out of the refrigerator, let them sit on the counter for just five minutes to let just a, a teeny bit of the chill come off, okay? And then they go in the oven, 325 degrees. So now listen, if you haven't um, turned your oven, preheated your oven yet, go ahead and preheat it, okay? Preheat the oven so it can be ready to um, cook your cookies, okay? I love you too. That's Lady Smith. Your dog's name, Prince. And Polo, that's a little bit saying that. It's Prince. But we call him Princey and we call him PP sometimes. But his name is Prince and the other is Polo. And they are brothers. They're from the same exact letter. <laughs> Let's see, I'm getting a message. Someone is in my driveway. And let me see. Who is in the driveway? Okay, let's see what we got going on. Who goes there? Oh, I'm in the backyard. Lord, okay. Okay, it's my husband. And it's somebody walking, too. Okay, he's back. He got the new tires on there, so that's great. Okay. Nicole, all you need to do is see the beginning, and it keeps a record. What, what are you talking about? Um, what is she saying? Does she need, um, like, ingredients? Oh, my Holy King says I want to see Gina on the Food Network. <laughs> Thank you. When you remove the cookies out the refrigerator, yes. Okay, thank you, Sonia. Guess what? I was in a, taking a... Dog came in. His name was Smokey, and ju oh, he jumped in the tub. Oh my goodness! Well, is it a big dog? <laughs> is it a big dog? Oh no! What are we making next Saturday? I um I don't know. <laughs> I haven't had time to think about that yet. So let me just tell you this. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I don't know what you're doing a live Saturday, am I, honey? Hmm? Or Thursday? You said what? I'm not going to be doing a live Thursday so or Saturday. I don't know about Saturday. Saturday now. Or? Thursday now. We come back Friday. Okay, I'm not going to be doing a live Thursday. When it comes to Saturday, yeah. I'll let you guys know what I'm going to be making. It's going to be something special, okay? Okay, okay. No live on Thursday. Sorry about that. But you will see um, a special video. How about that? Okay? A really special video. But I got to figure out what I'm going to be making for Saturday, okay? I was saying I do it all the time. I was always thumbs up the live. That's what I meant. Oh, okay, Nicole. Thank you. Chicken cat story. Chicken catch a Tory. Oh, chicken catch a kid. Chicken cat story. Chicken catch a Tory. <laughs> huh? Let me see. Hold on, guys. I got to look at something. Oh, okay. Those are nice. Let me see. Get your hands out the pocket so I can see. Turn around. Those are nice. They fit good. Okay, try the other ones on. Try them on for me, though. They look nice. Very, could he bend down in them? Yeah. Very nice. <laughs> okay. Hold on, guys. Okay, thank you. Is that the size I always wear? 
I can tell it's big. Yeah, but it's, it's, it's not over made. Okay. Those are one size small. Okay. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Can we see? So K Coffee says, can we see? <laughs> can we see? Okay, so it's a shirt um, for Gina Young. That's what it looks like, okay? And here's the back. shirt I will be wearing it this week and you guys will see me uh, wearing this shirt okay <laughs> and and when I was looking at that way Dakota has some new jeans my husband just brought them home he wanted Dakota to try them and bend down and see if he could wear them if they were nice and comfortable thank you honey <laughs> mm -hmm. well, so you got a donk a donk <laughs> <laughs> Sure You're loving the bling. That's cute. Thank you, my holy king. Shirt is nice. Thank you, Mildred. Thank you. He's nice thinking about you shopping. Thank you, Jacqueline. I, I'm i not a fan of red. Whoa, whoa. My husband likes whoa. red. You hear him say, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa now. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Nate. He said, I love the shirts you wear. Thank you. Gina, you really resemble Jill Scott today. And I love the shirt. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I Yes, Kate Coffee. I like blue. I love every color of blue. All colors, all shades of blue. Thank you, Nicole. Uh, Gina, you look great in red. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> he said, that's what I'm saying. Everybody do. He said, everybody do. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like red. But I tell you what, I do like this shirt, and I do think it's beautiful, you know. But y'all see me wear, wear red all the time. Even though I don't like red, I wear it all the time. Because <laughs> he purchases me red. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, thank you, Heidi. Oh, Cat Lover says red is my favorite color. That's right. <laughs> he said, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Valencia said, my favorite color is red. Seven more minutes on the cookies. Yeah. Everybody. <laughs> thank you, Ty. <laughs> you, have this, I, I, you have the same smile as Jill Scott. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> okay. You do. I can't. <laughs> I hate when people say you look like Jill Scott. Why? I just I've always hated that. I told you Jill Scott. Is because beautiful. I you think I do. I do. I think she's beautiful, but I also think something else. What do you think? Yeah, I don't. I. I mean, I don't have to tell the world what I think, but I just don't think we look alike. Okay. <laughs> but I don't think it's an insult when people say that. So don't get that wrong, guys. It's not an insult. <laughs> it's not an he said it's not an insult. Jill Scott is beautiful. Jill Scott is beautiful. <laughs> he, he tells me I'm crazy. I told y'all he tells me I'm nuts all the time. <laughs> sweet, sweet, uh, sweet. Uh, what's your name? Let's see. Hold on. What's your name? Sweet. Oh, you, uh, what's your name? Sweetly annoying it. She said she is beautiful. <laughs> Okay, see my holy king. Okay, thank you. Ah, <laughs> uh, thank you, Jacqueline. <laughs> okay, so we only got a few more minutes. We got a few more minutes, and guess what we're gonna be doing? We are going to be taking our cookies out, setting them on the counter for five minutes, throwing them in the oven, 325 degrees. You guys are gonna get to taste the most beautiful chocolate chip cookies you ever made. Or you ever had? I, I do want to ask you guys this, though. Were you one of the people that put the nuts in your cookies? Did you put nuts or you didn't? You favor the Myra Monkhouse on Family Matters. I don't know who that is. Myra on Family Matters. I don't know who that is. 
I'm going to look it up. I hope it ain't the mom. I hope it ain't. My husband said, I hope it ain't the mom. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. Myra. Hold on. Myra. Up. M Y R A. Let me see who said this too, so I can get you if you. Hold on. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you if I don't like the way. Okay, hold on. This is Nate, dog. Your favorite. You favor Myra Monkhouse on Family Matters. Okay, let me look. The name Monkhouse don't Monkhouse. Right. He, said, he said Monkhouse just don't sound right. <laughs> hold Monk on. House. Myra. All right, Myra. <laughs> Family Matters. Oh, okay. I know who you're talking about. Who is I, I don't. The I don't. Sister. I don't agree. Who is the sister? But I guess kinda. The sister is her. Oh, she died. Yeah. Yeah, that was that was Urkel's first girlfriend. Yeah. Yeah, Myra. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah, she was bad looking. I, I would say her a little bit more. See that? See that picture there? Hold yeah. on. I would say her more than. Uh, more than Jill Scott. Oh, you crazy. Oh, hold on. And she don't look better than Jill Scott. He said, he said, I'm crazy. <laughs> he sure. said, I'm crazy and she don't look better than Jill Scott. She okay. Don't. My, okay, hold on. Let me do it again. M-Y-R-A Monkhouse. How do you know her name? That is an odd name to remember. Yeah, it is. Please say mommy, please. Let's see. If I can find a good picture, I'll show you guys. Uh, okay, that there she is there. So, see, I agree right there a little bit. Just a little bit. Yeah. That's not a bad picture. Versus Jill Scott. Let me pull up Jill Scott. Come on, look at her here. That's real beautiful. All right. Okay, let's see if I can pull up a still picture of her that won't go away. <laughs> Okay, hold on. All right, let's see. Yeah, I don't agree. I just don't agree when it comes to Jill Scott. I don't. My husband said, my husband said, you got a problem with Jill Scott, don't you? <laughs> he said, just say it. I don't. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> <coughs> that is funny though. Okay, if I can just pull up a good picture. All right, let's see. I said pictures is Jill Scott and no pictures is coming up. Maybe she doesn't like to take pictures, honey. Jill Scott. All right, hold on. Oh, you said I'll take my eyebrow. Okay, let me see. <laughs> Ty said, Gina, you might have an issue with Jill Scott. <laughs> my husband said, that's what I said. I don't. <laughs> I don't. Y'all are so funny. All right, here, the thing is, I can't find a picture because they're all videos. Okay, here's one. Oh. Great. <laughs> Others say, yep, yep. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> How many more minutes? Is it time to take cookies out? <laughs> it must be time to take the cookies out. Yep, she can sing. I tell you that. Oh, Lord. CC Winans. Okay, Gina Jill Scott looks like you. Okay. <laughs> Gina, I see it. Gina, your twins are sisters. <laughs> oh, man. She said, that's you. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> T 
Take your cookies out the refrigerator, okay? So, y'all don't need to see me take the cookies out, right? I'm just gonna take them out. I'm putting them on the counter, okay? And for five minutes. After five minutes together, we put our cookies in the oven 325 degrees. So let's do that right now, okay? I don't know how old she is. All right, let's get our cookies out, everybody. Y'all can't eat this counter like this while I'm recording. Let me show you what he came in and did. What? I got to show you. I love my husband. Let me show you what he did, though. Let me just show you. Look at yeah. this. You see my cookies way over there? I made what? There's the cookies. <laughs> look, look, look. What? Remember the counter was nice? The counter was last to do it. He said the counter, the counter was last to leave it. Like, that yeah. was the counter. Oh, it was Dakota. It wasn't even my husband. Okay, I take that. I take that back, baby. That was Dakota. See that? One? Look what Dakota did to my kitchen. Look what he did. I want a piece of chicken. <laughs> I see the chicken pot pies, <laughs> but I do have my cookies out. You see them? <laughs> you see? I, I see the cook. I see the chicken pot pies. <laughs> I tell you what. Yeah, that, <laughs> Dakota, you messed my kitchen up. That wasn't even my husband. Throw me a piece of chicken. I, I do want a piece. I do want a piece. Okay, who put that right there? Whose is this? Is it yours or your dad's? Okay, let me have a paper towel and I need some hot sauce. Chicken and cookies are boss. It's a boss combination. <laughs> Glad you're better. Thank you so much. Can I have some 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 chicken? Now you make me want chicken. Why well, he Dakota just gave me the extra hot baby? Dakota just gave me the extra hot hot sauce. to my kitchen. I, I know it's because I told on him. Let me make me a quick plate, okay? And by the time I take a couple bites, it'll be time for us to put our cookies in, okay? I hope you guys are enjoying the chat. Welcome to everybody. Welcome to all of the new subscribers. I love you guys so much, okay? Let me put my shirt up. Y'all are going to see me sometime this week wearing this shirt. And I can't wait to wear it. Dakota, I can't believe you messed the kitchen up like that. Messing that up. Got me blaming your dad. and rice. Is it time to put the cookies in? I need the regular hot sauce. Mm. 
Oh, you love the dirty rice. Okay. But you see, let me show you. When you have to watch your diabetes, it is time, okay? Um, look how much I got. I only got a little tiny bit of rice, just enough to taste it because I don't need the carbs. You know what I mean? Especially if I'm going to eat a cookie or two today, I can only give myself this much rice. So you got to be diligent in watching, you know, how much of things that you have when you're diabetic, you know? Mm. Thank you, Lord, for this meal today. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. So, she said it's time. Let's put our cookies. Don't put your cookies on the top rack. Don't put them on the bottom rack. Put them in the middle. Yeah, I'm going to put some hot sauce on it, Ron. Um, put it in the middle, okay? If you don't have a rack in the middle of your oven, then you take a rack. You know, put, put uh, like, uh, hot gloves on, you know, the uh, pot holders on your hands. Put the rack in the middle. In the oven for 12 minutes. At 12 minutes, we check on them, okay? I tend to cook them for 12 to 15 minutes, okay? So now, let's put a timer on, like, right now. Mines are going in the oven. The dogs had a piece of chicken. That was very nice. That's the first thing my husband did. He gave the puppies um, a chicken leg a piece. And he, what he does is he takes the skin off and he gives them the meat. So both of them had um, chicken and they were so happy. Oh, you love the biscuits, the red beans, and dirty rice. You don't get it often because you're diabetic. Yeah. Gina, I wonder what you did before YouTube. Okay, Marveline B, I'll actually tell you. Let me take a couple of bites of my food and I'll actually tell you, okay? Um, once again, thank you, Lord, for this food. Thank you, sweetheart. Um... Before I did YouTube, I worked at a hospital, and also um, before that, I did home health care, and uh, as well, and then years before that, years before that, um, I worked at Walmart. And then I worked, I worked in the meat department. And then I also worked um, in a deli as a deli manager at Walmart. And then after there, I went to work at Myers. I was the Myers bakery manager. And then I left there. I did the home health care um, where you go in their home and work with them. And then I also did the uh, home health care inside of an adult daycare. And like I said, at a hospital. So those are some of the things that I did before. But the last job that I did, I was working in a hospital. Huh? Mm-hmm. You said you can see me working with patients. Yeah, I actually loved it. Mm-hmm. UK coffee. Let me see. Somebody's saying, Hi, Derek Geeds, how are you? Gina, you were sitting at a desk answering phones. That's what you look like you was doing. Oh, okay, I wasn't. But I will tell you this. Um, Years ago, I did have a job, and I was answering phones. I had.
had to be in my 20s. Oh, it's answering phones. And uh, yeah, the place was called Alliance Data. I was answering phones and uh, you'd be mad at me. <laughs> my, <laughs> my husband is laughing at me. He said she hated it. She hated that job. She's bad at me. I was like, I so I, w I was answering phones, right? And um, it was like, it was called Alliance Data. And what you would do is you would approve or not approve somebody for a credit card. And you would check their credit score and you would approve them or deny them. And you had to like know how to use the computer. You had to like be able to function with the headset be able to speak to them on the phone and, and look at the computer and do this and that. And it was the worst job that I ever had and I hated it to death. And I would come home mad every day. Like I said, I was in my 20s. Y'all know I'm, I'm in my mid 40s now. But I totally hated it. Uh, I hated I hated to dress up. Y'all know, y'all know. My husband just reminded me. He said you hated dressing up. <laughs> He's laughing because he remembers. He's laughing. Hated to dress up. I hated to dress up. I hated the whole place and everything about it. I didn't know how to do the computer work. I was not computer savvy. I had no clue what I was doing. So I'm. I. I. I it was just the worst. <laughs> he said I couldn't Valencia said I couldn't do that job it was the worst my husband said I would come home mad every day yeah, you <laughs> he said oh my goodness Mr. Young is so funny <laughs> yeah buddy I hated that job and then the job that I had at um, the job that I had at my there was a manager that had went over to Myers that knew I was a manager at Walmart, and he's like, "Listen, you can go over to Myers, and I'm gonna pay you good. I'm gonna get you some training and all this." You can go over there and be their bakery manager. And they was paying good money. I went over there to be uh, the bakery manager for Myers. $15 an hour at that job. I hated it. My husband said I was getting $16 an hour at that job. And I hated it. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and I really didn't have to do a whole lot of nothing. But I hated it. And it was shortly after I had an ACL replacement. I had an ACL replacement in my right knee. I was wearing this brace. I had to dress up. And once a month I had to do, um, uh, what is it called? Where, I can't remember what it's called. Where you go in and you count everything in the freezers, in the refrigerator. It was the worst job. I don't know out of the two which one was worse. But, uh, oh man, my husband, <laughs> he said, he said, it wasn't fun when you didn't like a job. It, it was not fun because you come home mad every day, mad and mean every day. Inventory, yeah. I, I'll come home frozen. You have to be there like four in the morning. Start counting, staying in the freezer. Your bones is freezing. You go to work wearing a hat and a coat in the summertime. I had leg warmers on. I had everything on to stay warm. And I would come home freezing. And when I got home, I'd be freezing for three hours later. <laughs> but everybody loved me. The workers loved me. And some of them, some of the young kids, they just kind of ran over me. <laughs> And they was like, <coughs> they was like, Miss Gina, we love you. And they did. They was like, we love you. Some of them would be like, Gina, I love you so much, I'd do anything for you. But some of them would be like, Gina, I love you, but I'm not doing that. <laughs> it was just the worst. It was the worst. I 
actually worked for Walmart for 12 years, believe it or not. But like I said, I was much, much younger. I, um, I believe I started working there in 2004. Uh-huh. You tore your ACL in your right knee too. Oh my goodness. Oh, thank you, C Pug. You're the boss now. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. That's amazing. Okay, so listen. We will be checking in. Stop that. Is that Amazon? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Is they still standing there? No, let me look at the security. Let me look at my front door. Somebody's standing at my front door. Let me look. I can see them. I can see them right now if they're still there. Stop. Was it Amazon? <laughs> they left. <laughs> Just missed them. All right, yep, they left the pass package. Hold on, let me check my driveway. Just to make sure they left. Okay. <laughs> he wants some more chicken legs. Oh, man. Like I said, I was at Walmart for 12 years. And it was some hard work. You hear me? Well, you can smell your cookies. Mm. All right. How, how long has it been? I got to talk and I don't know how long it's been. This is so good. Thank you, baby. Mm. Yeah, Derek eats. Try unsubscribing, subscribing again, pressing the notification bell, and pressing all so you can get all the notifications. It's like a little black button. When you press that all button, You'll get all notifications, okay? I don't know what's happening, uh, Derek, why you're not getting the notifications. I'm so sorry to hear that. Yeah, the dog is on this job. Because even before the ADT said something, the dog was at the door and he was barking. So thank you. Good boys. Where's, where's Prince at? Okay. All right, I'm getting ready to check my cookies, guys. Right, $16 an hour wasn't bad. Back in the days, you hear me? I mean, well, that was some good money. You bet it was. I'm going to tell y'all a whole story about my ACL and me and my husband. I'm going to have to tell y'all that. Because it, it's, it's, it's a funny story. You never heard of it, and I did. I'm going to tell y'all about my ACL. Okay, and I'm going to tell you a whole breakdown of it. Let's check the cookies real quick. we got to check our cookies, okay? But we're going to have fun talking. okay if your cookies are ready take them out now what I don't want you to do please listen to me it's very important don't cook your cookies until they're just like brown they're gonna be a little bit golden brown just a little golden brown 
You'll see that brown, golden brown towards the edge, and you might touch them and they're a little soft. Guess what? That's okay. Okay? That's what we're looking for. Okay? All right? I, I'd like to say I was at the Myers for about a year. I'd like to say, don't really don't quote me on that because I don't know. But like I said, I had had an ACL replacement and just getting in the back of things, I was kind of limping around and I had this long uh, uh, thing on my leg from my, uh, like from my, the mid uh, thigh section below my knee. And so I walked with the limp, I, had, I wore the thing on the outside of my pants. So I was in pain, I hated the job, it was just like the worst. <laughs> But they paid good, <laughs> you know? I'm talking about them checks, was, them checks was good. You hear me? Okay. So, I'm taking my cookies out, okay? I, you said mine has two more minutes, okay. All right, I'll wait one more minute. One more minute, I'm taking them out. The worst thing you can do when you're cooking cookies, I'm sorry, baking cookies, is cook them too long and then they're hard as a rock. You don't want that, okay? Dear Eats, how are you? I hope you are okay. Um, I'm hoping that things get turned around a little bit for you and fixed to where you can get those notifications because I totally hate that that you're not getting the notifications you know what i mean like i'm so serious we love having you with us and those notifications just kind of remind you you know hmm i must have been look at that i must have been hungry mm, mm, mm. all right two minutes is up get your cookies out Cookies, 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 cookies. And then I'm gonna turn the camera around here in a second. Well, tasty. down yet after eating but we have to talk about something what I don't want you to do don't go in with the spoon don't go in with the fork a butter knife a spatula or nothing don't touch these guess what because right now they're too soft to move them if you move them they will crumble on you and you'll say oh heck what just happened you let them cool down on this same cookie sheet after they cool down, then you can move them to whatever platter, whatever plate that you're going to keep them on. Okay, you got me? I know you got me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my other set of cookies. You know, I got a half a sheet. I'm throwing it in the oven for another 12 minutes, okay? All right, so if you have more cookies that you'd like to be cooking, go ahead and get the other set of cookies into the oven right about now. We're, we're keep, we can go ahead and grab a spatula, okay? But we're not going to use it yet. Going in, it's going to break them. Let them cool down, and when as they cool down, they get harder, okay? Okay, go ahead and grab you a nice plate or a platter that you want to serve these on, okay? Get you a glass and put some ice in it so you can put you know, some milk in it, okay? So I'm gonna put my cookies in the oven, I'm gonna come back around and we'll finish chatting for a while. I'll tell you what, I really enjoy uh, my chicken. Got a nice, 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 um, I 
get the call I'm going to have you get my uh, little platter out. My white plate that I have, my square plate, so we can put these cookies on there. Don't touch your cookies. Don't touch them just yet, okay? I got a plan. I got a master plan. And you will be doing this with the phone. Do you hear me? Do you hear me, yes or no? Okay, welcome to Jeannie Young's Live. Jeannie Young is back in effect. We just make chocolate chip cookies. Uh, where you put your mic on? I didn't put my mic back on uh, because we're, we're pretty much done cooking. And what I'm going to be doing is for the rest of the evening, you know, we'll eat our cookies together and everything, but you guys can hear me. Okay. Ah, that's why you're saying that. That's funny. I, I wasn't really singing. I was singing, um, uh, or I was kind of humming a, a commercial. You know that one. You know that one commercial that says, "Better lock it in your pocket, taking this one to the grave." You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> that's what I was singing. What commercial is that? But I wasn't really singing it. No, don't say, "Ooh, you can sing." I wasn't singing. I was just saying it. That's funny. Y'all are so funny. But one day I will. One day I will. And y'all going to say, oh my goodness. Y'all going to say, she is Jill Scott. <laughs> and I'm going to say, no, nah, don't do it. <laughs> no, it's not considered singing. That's so funny. <laughs> Um, I don't like the letters. I want cursive letters. No, sing just one tone for us. That's so funny. <laughs> oh my goodness. Were you in choir? I was not. You'll watch. You got 11 person on your phone. The phone will shut down. I love you too. Thank you for coming in, Darlene Carson. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. <laughs> Sonia said, okay, so when you hit the million, you're going to sing and skate for us. <laughs> uh, you, wait, are you saying you sing like Jill Scott? <laughs> no, I'm not saying that. <laughs> There you go. Singing, cooking, gymnastics. <laughs> Your cookies are done. Okay, great. Great, great, great. Somebody let me know how you're got how Okay, so I'm just going to let Did you get the plate out? I need the white plate. Here in a second, we'll be tasting our cookies. But like I said, right now, I don't want you to go in and bother them because um, they'll tear apart. Again, let them cool down for at least three minutes before you remove them off of the cookie sheet, okay? That's fine. But I would prefer the bigger plate, and then you got some dishes you need to do, okay, and get that stuff. So what are you looking at right here? Okay, to everyone, that is his life. Please forgive my manners. I pray that you will all have a blessed. Who is this? To everyone, that is on his life. What, what is this from Darlene? To everyone, that is on his life. Please forgive my manners. I pray that you will have a blessed. I'm, I'm not understanding her message. I pray that you will all have a blessed evening, night, because my phone is about 
Oh, no, that's fine. That's fine. Thank you for coming in, darling. No problems. Do you know we need to have a meet and greet where all your fans come together? Don't you all agree? I, V, I just have to say, um, V, I just have to say, I am not having a meet and greet. I'm scared half to death to have a meet and greet. If I was to have a meet and greet, I would have to have police there. I would hire police to come because people are totally nuts nowadays, you know? And I'm just not, and, and then they have viruses and things going around that's c c catchable and things like communicable. How do you say that word? You know, I, I just am not interested right now. I'm not. I am not. So, and it's nothing towards you guys or nothing about you guys. It, it's just, in today's world, it's totally nuts. And it would be scary for me to have a meet and greet. So, anytime soon, I do not plan on having one. I don't. And then if I were to have one, I would literally have to handpick you guys. You know what I mean? Like, not just have it announced Excuse me, not just have the location announced to the whole wide world on YouTube. It would be a situation where I would like um, message Ron Wilson personally on his email, message Sonia on her email, message um, Nate Dog and Raymond on their email, or you know, message Saj on her email. Like, like literally, I would pick out uh, people, you know, like Heidi. And, you know, like, because I, I would be so scared. Or K-Coffee, you know, like, I would have to know you guys in order to invite y'all. It, it would just, it, it would be a lot of work. Do, do you know what I mean? Instead of having it public, right? So let's just say you were to have it public. And you, you post, Tina Young is having a meet and greet. You tell the whole world and some nut out there decides, okay, I'm going, you know, and this is the total nut. No, thanks. I would have to handpick you guys. Like, you know, like Tyrese, give me your email. I want your email and I'm going to email you specifically. You know, V, Jack, v, uh, v Jackson, my holy king, you know, like that. Do you understand? So hopefully you guys can totally understand what I'm saying. Right, okay, okay, so you understand, great. Gina, what he have to do with sometimes, this is work. Unsubscribe to your channel, then subscribe right back and hit the honest notifications should work. Oh, Darlene, it'll work for him, he'll, he'll figure it out. It'll definitely work for him, you know. Gina, uh, Mildred said, Gina, I'll be your bodyguard. <laughs> I tell you what, my husband and the police would be my bodyguard. We, 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 we would have fun. You know, but seriously, I'm so serious. If I was to have a meet and greet, that's how I would do it. Um, that, that's exactly how I would do it. And I would, you know, like go to Mildred's email and I would invite her. You know, like that. Yeah, because you never know who's watching. There's always someone that, that like totally hates you. <laughs> you know, it's true. There's people behind the scenes that totally hate me. And I wouldn't want those people to come. And they wouldn't be able to come. You know what I mean? They wouldn't be able to come if I didn't invite them. But if I put out a whole post, hey, I'm having a meet and greet. Y'all come see me. Come, come. Come here and see me. Anybody could come. And when you come, you're going to have to uh, show ID. <laughs> you bet. I would have it all planned out. You're going to have to show ID. I would say, uh, Nicole, you know, Nicole. Dakota, what are you doing? I would say, Nicole Stusco. I think, I, I don't know how to pronounce your name. I would say, Nicole Stusco. Right? And, and in her email, she would say, well, that's not my last name, Gina. My, my name is uh, Nicole Jerry or whatever. And so I would say, Nicole Jerry is coming. <laughs> right? And they would have her on the list and they would mark her off. You know, they would say, 
Valencia is coming. They have her on the list now. Mark her up. So you wouldn't be able to come in just as anybody because they say, ah, oh, you ain't invited. <laughs> right, my holy king. You said everybody has enemies. Yeah. I just think that's scary. You know, and like I said, when you, when you think about, um, you know, they got monkey pox and all kinds of things going on. Ah, uh ah. -uh. You got to be careful. I don't know what's going on with my necklaces here. You know, there was a lady um, that did a video. She was talking about her necklaces being tangled up, right? I'll show you my necklace, how I just untangled them. But she was talking about how she loves when her necklaces are tangled up like this. Let me show you. She was like, she was like yeah, I love when my necklaces get tangled. And I was thinking, I wonder why. Like, I think that's, that, that was really interesting to hear her say that. But I don't. I go nuts when, my, when mine gets tangled. I hear you, Ty. I hear you. I see what you're saying. But I heard that people was, I, I don't know. I'll leave, that, I'll leave that alone. Now, I didn't, oh, Lord, I didn't really tangled it up. Right, Tyrese, that is so scary. <laughs> Oh, you're talking about the necklace? I could not believe it when I heard that. I thought, why would they, why would they want their necklace? And she was like, I love it. And I thought, oh, wow, this is, that's different. <laughs> and she's a great person, you know. I, you know, but I guess if you like your necklace t tangled up, then you do. What the heck? It only takes one nut. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. You are absolutely right. Yeah, meeting random people. No, thanks. Uh, uh I don't understand how people like, you know how people do like dating things, dating apps and stuff. That is so, that is so scary. When you think about it, that is totally scary. I mean, you have to really be do something like that. <laughs> the necklace, I got the necklace fixed. <laughs> but just to mention the neck, it, it's untangled, but I don't like when mine gets tangled. I don't, I don't know why I, sometimes I feel like, why do I even put two on? Because two always get tangled. Oh, 12 minutes is up for your second batch? Go ahead and check that second batch for me. Not ready yet. Okay, mines aren't ready yet, but let's turn the camera around. Let's turn this camera around. We're gonna look at these cookies. Ha <laughs> ha, yep, you tell me if I'm in the camera. Oh, ho, ho. Oh, baby. All right. Okay, okay, okay. I don't have the microphone on, but it's okay. Okay, listen. I want you to take your spatula and you look at how thick the cookie is. It's not flat. Look at that. Look at this. Look. <laughs> Look at there. Oh, mommy. So now we put them onto our platter. And you can twist them a little and they'll come right up. Okay? I'm getting ready to get a cup of milk and we're going to have some cookies and milk together. Just keep in mind that I can't have a whole lot. So I'm not going to indulge in a lot because, you know, I got to kind of. I gotta kind of watch things a little bit. Then I gotta watch my sugar. Okay? Know how many of something you can have. Come look at this. Can you come down on the cookies? That is a cookie for you. It's a cookie Gina Young style. I'm gonna grab a little cute platter or a little cute plate. I'm gonna grab some ice and some milk and let's have some cookies together, okay? I do have some cookies in the oven I really need to keep an eye on. Okay, so we'll keep an eye on those. 
I got a little tiny, little teeny tiny plate, and I want to get two nice cookies out. Just handpicked for me. Oh, the perfect cookies. And my family can enjoy cookies tonight, you know. And when if you don't have like a cookie jar, you just put these into a Ziploc bag. Okay? Yeah, we don't use that as a cookie jar though. Um, just put them in, after they cool down, let them cool down for at least 45 minutes. Put them in a Ziploc bag and keep them, okay, on your counter. All right. Milk. A little bit of ice. All right, you put milk in your ice too? Okay. I got the waterfall on since y'all told me you love the waterfall. <coughs> Excuse me, God bless me. Look at this, what I love. Now, I, I, I'm being serious about this. Look how thick the cookies are, okay? Um, I like that they're thick. I like that they're crispy at the bottom and kind of buttery. And when you bite into it, it's so soft and supple. All right, let's do this. We're going to say a prayer, though. We pray over everything. I wouldn't care if it was a plate of scrambled eggs. We're going to pray over it, okay? Heavenly Father, we'd like to thank you today for such a beautiful day. Lord, we'd like to thank you for your love time, your mercy, and your understanding. Please forgive us for our sins. Come into our hearts and make you our Lord and Savior. Send your angels down to surround us day and night. Your Holy Spirit to help us make good decisions. Give us peace of our minds in the name of Jesus. We pray that no weapons formed against us shall prosper. And we bind the devil away from us in Jesus Christ's name. Devil, you have no authority over this household. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the roof over our head, the food, the love, the peace and the joy you bring us every day. Amen. Amen once again. Look at that. Look at that, 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 that. Now listen. Um, something that I like to do, and you guys can do this for your holiday. When you make a chocolate chip cookie, right when you take it out and it's still soft. Remember I said when I don't want you to touch it? You can put a couple of chocolate chip cookies on here, like five, and just let them barely melt on the top. And when you present them to your family, they are absolutely gorgeous. Like they have these barely melted chocolate chips on the top. And I like to put one in the middle and four, you know, two here and two there. But it really makes them gorgeous. How about we break into it, okay? So you all can see, okay? I want you to see, I want you to see, I want you to see. Oh, I want you to see the inside. Look at this. Come on, give me red hearts. Give me red hearts if you love this. Oh, this cookie is for the people that did not cook along with me today. Come on, y'all. Come on. Let's see. Let's see. She said, I hate that, Saj, because you're going to fall asleep sometime. Okay, I see the red hearts. Thank you, guys. Yes, mine's is so yummy and chewy, says Tyrese. Okay, yes, I love it. Okay, this is great. Now, listen, as you're giving me the red hearts, look what I'm doing. Look what I'm doing. You got it. Look, this is what you got to do. <laughs> yes, this is a cooking channel. <laughs> oh, oh, my goodness. Yes. Oh, you better make yourself. All right, I'm going in. Mm. I 
I baked those cookies, says Tyrese. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that makes me so happy. Mm. This is so good in the milk. Oh, my goodness. Mm. Dakota, you got to take your dad a little cup of milk with ice in it and give him uh, two cookies. Please wash your hands first. Oh. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. If it make you close your eyes. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm. Now, when it comes to me eating any sweets, any more sweets today, I can't do it, okay? Because I got to watch my sugar now. See, I live for that. Look at that. Oh, Chad, listen here. Mm. Mm hmm Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So good, so good, so good. <laughs> These cookies is good. Mmm. Uh, he said, okay, how many of you getting your socks knocked off right now? Somebody put the sock, oh, you gotta do this. This part right here, don't skip this part. Oh, mmm. Okay, I'm in love. Okay, C Pug. I'm in love with this recipe. Oh! Mm. Pick Coffee says, We did that! Mm. He said, Now I want brownies. Please forgive me. If you happen to see any chocolate in my teeth, okay? Remember, I have the retainer in my teeth, okay? So when it's something chewy, uh, sometimes it'll get stuck and you might be able to see it, but I'll rinse my mouth out when I'm done. Gina, Gina, dippity dip, 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 dip. Oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Ooh. If you didn't make it live with Gina, you can still make these cookies anytime. He said she know her husband. <laughs> when Dakota took the cookies down, he said she know her husband. He he wanted something sweet. <laughs> He said, she know her husband. <laughs> Nate Dog. Okay, great. I need to see what Nate Dog said. Okay, hold on. Oh, Mildred says, Derek, this is my first time ever making cookies. Thanks to Gina. And my socks is off. Mildred, I love it. Yes, Raymond says the cookies is busting. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Where is um, Nate Dog? Did he cook? Did they turn out good? Okay, is it possible to make a banana pudding with chocolate chip cookies? Did you cook along with me, Nate? Is it possible to make a banana pudding with chocolate chip cookies? Um, okay, let's talk about that. Oh, not today. Okay, I would like to answer that question and I would say no because the cookies that you normally would use in a banana, banana pudding is a hard cookie that takes a while to get soft. 
these right here, they would just disintegrate in your banana pudding and it would be disgusting. And it also would turn your banana pudding brown because of the chocolate chips. So you got to revise that and think about a, a Lorna Doom cookie or a vanilla wafer cookie or something, a butter cookie, something as a such, okay? Especially you don't want chocolate chips in it, okay? Mmm. Have a lot in common Denise yeah good deal mm -hmm. oh Tyree says I don't bake anything in the store I make a Ginny Young style oh that's great I'm still having my surgery yes I am yes I am I believe I have, let's just put it this way. On August the 4th, uh, on August the 14th or the 16th, I had my last, um, <coughs> I had my last iron infusion. We have to wait five weeks after that last iron infusion to get my blood work done over again, okay? So at that point, we are then going to um, check all the blood work, make sure my iron is up to par, and if it's up to par, we're going in. We're going in, we're having the surgery, and um, it's going to be successful. It's going to be beautiful. And I'm so excited because I'm getting a couple things done. All of my back, let me see. I'm going to get lipo on my back. Let me see if you guys can see. Like, can you see? You can see rolls on my back. You can see rolls right here. You see that? And you can see a roll right here. You see that? All of that's going to be gone. So he's going to he's gonna sculpt my back. Because I've got to have my back nice and flat matching my stomach. <coughs> Excuse me. So he's going <coughs> to... Lipo on my back. Mostly the top area. That's where I need it. Okay. Do the tummy tuck and do uh, the breast lift. And I am so excited. We've already paid for it. We just didn't know. I wouldn't have already paid for it if I knew that my iron was going to be too low to go through with it. But now, since I've had my iron infusion, uh, two iron infusions, my level's going to go up. And I've been working on a couple other things. Um, my levels are going to go up. When everything is nice and solid health-wise, I'm going in for surgery. So that's how it's going to work. And nobody's going to have to miss me. Because when I get these surgeries done, I'm going to be going live. I'm going to be talking to you guys. You're not going to have to miss me. I'm not going to be standing up at the stove, though. But I will be going live, like, daily. Okay? So we can talk. We can have fun. We can chat. Do what we do like this, like we're doing now. And you won't have to miss me. You, you're afraid I won't have the same appetite. Even if I don't have an appetite... I'm still going to be cooking, you know. Are you talking about after I heal and everything? Well, listen, think about me for nine months when I had the braces. When I had the braces, y'all didn't get to see me eat at all. Because I couldn't eat on camera. But I sure was cooking up some good food, right? So it's going to be like that. If I don't have an appetite, no worries. I'm going to be cooking down some food, you hear me? Thank you, Mildred. Oh, he said, okay, Nate is saying just get it frozen. Um, okay, I understand what you're saying. Mm, I have heard about that. 
But I want you to keep in mind that I've had kids. I'm not a person that hasn't had kids, you know. And so therefore I have some roles. <laughs> I just do. I got some roles and uh, the way that I've opted to do it, it's going to take care of these roles. Let me show you a couple. A couple of my roles. You see them. You see them. That right there. All that is going to come in this way, you know. It's going to, instead of doing this, it's going to come in. You know, in like this. And then this, it's going to be gone. See that? That's too much. It's not, you know, I, I just have to be honest. It shouldn't be there. And that's a lot. And, um, you know, you can pinch a whole lot. Every single thing that I can pinch, it will leave. <laughs> it will leave in the name of Jesus. <laughs> it's got to go. It has to go. <laughs> You're happy to be a part of the journey, okay? This is great. <laughs> But like I said, seriously, um, Dakota is 13, and so I've been wanting to get the surgery for over 13 years. And so now, it's time. It's time. We need to talk about the merch. <coughs> Please excuse me for coughing. Okay? Let's talk about some merch really quickly. All right. I'm going to go to the merch. Go to the merch. Just a reminder, Gina will not be going live this Thursday. And Saturday, I'm going to... Thank you, um, Sonia. Good night, Shirley. Thank you for coming in. Hi, Gina. I'm new. Katie, welcome. Katie, welcome. Thank you for coming in and joining Jeannie Young's Live. Everybody, welcome Katie to our channel. Katie, you are so welcome to this channel anytime I go live two times a week. Um, we have made homemade chocolate chip cookies. And so everyone has just, oh, I forgot about my cookies. Hold on. So now, now that we made our cookies, everybody's just sitting down chit-chatting. And so it's the same way when I make uh, food recipes. So I'll make the food recipes. After it's done, we say a prayer, we eat together, and then we just chat for a while. So welcome, Katie, and thank you for coming in. Someone says, can we make cake box? Let me see, what are you saying? Cake box cookies live? Oh, that sounds kind of interesting. I've actually made cake box cookies before. Why don't you use a timer? I honestly, I've never, ever had a timer. Um, I should probably invest in one. Uh, but I usually can't remember. But sitting here talking to you guys, sometimes it's easy to forget, you know. So now what I want to do is I want to, why is my microphone not turning off? Okay, I'm gonna show you all some of the merch. Okay, people are buying the merch. People are buying the merch. You do not, you do not want to go on here and they tell you that the merch is out of stock, okay? He said, this is fun. Okay, great. Okay. So now, let me show you all a couple of things. And what I'll do is I will take some ideas for other kinds of merch. We'll write it down. 
and we'll get started making some. Okay? So for right now, this is what we have. Would you guys like to see it on my computer or would you like to do it yourself? Do you wanna look on your computer or do you wanna see it on my computer first? Tell me how you would like to do it because I have it pulled up on my computer where you can see it first offhand. Saj says, um, Zelda, you're welcome. Oh, okay. See you later, Denise. Thank you for coming in. Thank you. Okay, your computer. Yours, your computer. I, I see it on your computer. Okay. All right. So now, I hope you guys don't have, thank you, Raymond. He says, another great live. We'll be back next Saturday I'm out okay thank you for coming in we enjoyed having you I just brought your cookbook Gina and Patty LaBelle in the kitchen I Nate I don't have a cookbook <laughs> I don't have a cookbook yet <laughs> whose cookbook you done bought <laughs> I don't have a cookbook <laughs> <laughs> you didn't buy my cookbook <laughs> you bought somebody else's <laughs> all right listen here <laughs> that was a good one all right so hopefully there's no glare oh we got a glare let's see tell me when there's no glare he said what i know you lying i know you lying <laughs> you know you lying <laughs> you know you lying <laughs> You know you ain't buying no Gina Young cookbook. All right, all right, listen. So let's focus on these. These are, I'm turning some lights down in my house. So possibly you don't have a glare. Okay, there we go. So you got the cooking king with the blue t-shirt and there's a cooking queen. And these do come in different colors. Okay, the cooking king the cooking queen, you see them in blue, you see it in pink, okay? They come in other different colors that you could, you know, possibly get if you want another different color. Jeannie Young book bag, look at the book bag. See, here's the thing, if you stop commenting for a second, <clears throat> you can see the screen, because the comments will go away. So stop commenting for a second and you guys can see. The G.D. Young, G.Y., there's the G.Y. logo on the book bag, and the book bag is spacious, okay? Look at the glass. The glass has G.Y. on it. Gina Young, yes! You said I love the pink, uh-huh. And like I said, if you like purple <clears throat> or, you know, if you like orange or you like whatever color, most likely it's in that color as well. Okay, you like the GY logo. I, I like it on the glass, too. Okay, so let's move this up. Hey, listen, this stuff is good. It, it's going off the shelves. So you want to get it. You're going to get $12 off. You're using a promo code. And the promo co code, is, <coughs> excuse me, is capital, all capitals. And it's YOUNG. You know how to spell YOUNG, Y-O-U-N-G, 22. And it's all together. It's not spaced out. That's the promo code. Thank you, Sonya. Okay, so you're going to get $12 off. $12 is a lot, okay? It's because I love y'all. Okay, so now, what you're seeing right there is the face mask. It's Gina Young, and it's got the Gina Young logo, okay? And then the blue, the white hoodie says, in the kitchen with Gina Young in cursive. And then the blue hoodie says, Gina Young. You can get them in different colors. And there's a coffee mug that has Gina Young's name on it, okay? And then what about the slides? Oh my goodness, she got slides. They have the GY logo on them. And the colors kind of resemble um, Gucci. The colors resemble Gucci, you know they do, cause we Gucci over here. <laughs> I'm nuts, I know, I know. Okay, so we got Gucci. 
not Gucci name brand. Don't sit there and say Gina said that they're Gucci. They resemble Gucci, okay? With the GY logo. We got the bucket hat with the GY logo. And there is a coffee mug that you can put in your car and it has a lid to it where you can slide it open and close it. And there's the GY logo on the white slides, okay? It's not Gucci. <laughs> it resembles Gucci, okay? But they are cute. How, how stinking cute are they? Okay, so hold on. All right, so now everybody was asking, Gina, we need something that says impeccably clean. Okay, so if you look over here to the right, the mug says impeccably clean. And then you will see my hands, and you will see a faucet, you will see soap, and the person getting ready to wash their hands because your hands must be impeccably clean. There is the hoodie that says impeccably clean. There's hands, soap, and a sink, and same for the t-shirt. And now, this hoodie right here is really special. So let's talk about this hoodie. It's so special to me. Okay, and it says, hold on. It says Cooking Town. Cooking Town is what it has at the top. And it says that the estate in Gina Young in the middle is the logo. And then it also has November 26, 2017. Okay, and then it also has University at the bottom. It's kind of like a college hoodie and i totally love it like that one right there that black one i'm digging it i'm digging it you hear me okay so this one right here this green it, this is just a green um long sleeve because it's fall time winter's coming and it says cooking gina young style how about it comes in all colors and we got the aprons everybody was asking for the aprons and the apron says cooking Gina Young style. <laughs> Gina Young style. And the aprons come in all colors. Uh, there might be some colors that it doesn't come in, but most of the colors, you're going to find it. Okay. So now we got, I'm just showing the purple t-shirt, but you can get them in different colors. It says cooking Gina Young style. And then there's another estate hoodie where it says, hold on. I got to get that glare out of here. Hold on. Let me fix, did the light go off or something? Did that light go off? Oh, hold on. Okay. So now, uh, Cooking Town, um, Estate, November 26, 2017. You know, that's when I started my channel, right? And then it has University, that's the red hoodie, okay? So tell me this, you can come back with the comments just for a second as I move on and show you the rest. You all asked for make you some. <laughs> Gina Young made it. Okay, we got make you some t-shirt, but it doesn't just come in pink, it comes in all colors. Now the orange hoodie to the right, it says cooking Gina Young style. And you can see that the apron says, make you some. <laughs> make you some. Let's say it again. Make you some. Y'all ask for it. And listen, here, here you go. They're here for you. Okay? So uh, the hoodie actually says, make you some also. Now, everything um, has the GY logo that you might not be able to see. It's going to be a tiny GY logo on the product, okay? So now for people that love, love, love rainbow colors and you like everything rainbow, this is the merch for you, okay? So now this pink t-shirt says make you some. <laughs> Look at them. They're going to fly out the windows, you hear me? These are going to go fast, so you want to get it, okay? So this right here says Gina Young style, that's the hoodie, and it comes in different colors. Then you can get the apron that says Gina Young style in the rainbow. Lots of people love the rainbow colors. And then also this one here, um, it says Gina Young style, it's a t-shirt. Get it in all types of colors. All of this stuff here is, is 12, 
Listen, we're doing $12 off from today. Yes, Ty. From today to next set through next Saturday. Is it through next Saturday or to next Saturday? To next Saturday, $12 off, okay? So now somebody said, make you something that says ooh we on it. Ooh we, okay? Come on and we did it, okay? Ooh we. <laughs> ooh we. There it is right there. It's a t shirt and they are unisex, okay? The t shirts and the hoodies are all unisex. It's not just for female or not just for male. Male and female can wear them, okay? Ooh we. There you go. Gina Young ingredient bag. We are showing you the pink bag, but if you're that person that wants to get a green bag, a yellow bag, an orange bag, a purple bag, you can get you one. I don't know if the purple, because sometimes the purple doesn't match with the black letters, but what we've done is we've paired up the colors that does match with the black. So some colors may vary, okay? So that's what we have. Okay, listen, we've got some nice stuff going on here. Okay, and then we have the rainbow colored make you some. <laughs> rainbow colored make you some uh, aprons. And then we have the hoodie that says make you some. We got the ooh wee. Check it. Ooh wee. You know how Jeannie Young says it. You love it when she says it. Ooh wee. And now we got the apron. Ooh wee hoodie right here, right beside my mouth here. Uh, that's a pink hoodie that comes in different colors, okay? This is exciting, right? Okay, you said great promo. Okay, listen, this is awesome. I got something for everybody, right? Because everybody is looking for Jeannie Young merch, and we're here for you. Okay, so over the next, I'd like to say next week, more stuff is going to be coming, okay? You need to go break your bank. Listen, it's going to be nice, Mildred. You're going to love this stuff, okay? You say, yes, I want my apron. <laughs> What'd you say? Okay, so that's what we have, okay? And there are some other, you need to get me um, something to write on because I see some people here are saying, Gina, you need to have this too. So give me... Just, if you guys can give me just four other sayings, the hot pink is beautiful. And, and just please remember um, that colors may vary. Okay, I'm just going to say that one more time, just in case somebody say, well, she said I can get it in this color. Here's what, we, here's what we've done. Sometimes, like, black will not look right on a purple shirt unless it's light purple. You know what I mean? So you might not be able to find black on top of a dark purple because it don't match. If it don't match, we didn't use it. But you might be able to find black on top of a light purple. You know what I mean? So so the colors may vary for everything. I'm just setting that in stone so y'all know, okay? So if it's white letters, most likely every color, you can find that in almost every color, hopefully the color you're looking for. So tell me, and we'll write it down right now, what sayings you guys are looking for, okay, that I like to say. I know some people are going to say, you say so stinking good, but here's the thing. I know I say a lot of different stuff that you guys like, right? We, we say a lot of stuff that you guys like, but is it going to look right on a t-shirt, or is it going to look, can, can you add your face to the clothes? <laughs> um, Nate Dog. Uh, here, let me show you something. This is interesting, okay? Nate, what a great question. So here's what we made. Tell me what you think about this. This is a cartoon character of Gina Young where I, I just happened to be making a face. I probably was telling somebody off in one of my lives. <laughs> Look at that face. Okay, so this is a car. <laughs> Ooh, mommy. Okay, oh, you're saying, you're saying put that on the shirt. Okay, hold on, hold on, because I'm going to put it in a computer so we can write it down, okay? So there is one. You love it. Okay, so there's one of the cartoon characters. We can't actually put my actual face, but we could do a cute character that looks just like me like that. So possibly, okay? So, all right, let's write that down. A cartoon character face of Gina Young. Okay, so let's write that down. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, Derek Heath said, I'm loving it. Okay. 
So cartoon character Gina Young face. And then somebody said, ooh, mommy. Okay, oh, okay, so what I'll do is we'll spell out ooh, mommy. Uh, what I'll do is I'll say ooh, mommy factor. Should I say, I, I have to think about that one because you know how I say, ooh, give you, ooh, you know how I say ooh, mommy factor, make them say ooh, mommy, right? So how would I say that? Would I just say ooh, mommy? Or would I say ooh, mommy factor? Make them say umami and spell umami like oh oh, uh, I, like I could, I could totally figure it out how to make that one cute, okay? I'm saying you're just gonna write that down and save it, okay? Okay, so the next one you got the Gina Young cartoon, cartoon, cartoon Gina Young. What's the next one that you guys are looking for? Gina. Uh, wash your hands and the image of a hand on an apron. Okay, 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 Lottie. Let's see. Okay, okay, Lottie. Um, okay, Barb, I got to take some trash out and it's getting dark outside. Okay, Derek. Let's see. Gina saying, wash your hands and the image of a hand on an apron. Okay, so let me let me just show you this again, okay? So I feel like I have that collection already where it's saying impeccably clean. There is the hand soap. There's soap and then there's liquid soap and the hands are washing. So I, I literally have that collection in t-shirts and hoodies. Okay, so we have that. We follow through with that. Okay, so give me a couple more. Okay, yeah. I'm, I'm trying to see what he's saying. How do you say it? I put it in my cookies. Trust me when I say this. Okay. Uh, do I, I? I know when I first started the channel, I would say that a lot. Trust me when I say this. We'll go ahead and, and, and put that. But then I'm going to keep you guys updated. But like I said, don't be that person that waits too long. You wait too long, you snooze, you lose. Okay? Because people are buying this stuff. Okay? And the people that are making the shirts, they don't know how much is going to be bought. So, so there's only so many that they make. You, you don't want to get the message where these ones are sold out. Okay, so you want, trust me when I tell you this. Okay, so that's what that one says. Okay. But, of course, it'll be in different letters, you know. Back with another. Oh, she said, back with another amazing recipe. Okay. And then uh, this one says, so stinking good. Okay. Sell what you have and then come out with a new line oh yeah people are buying them already people that are not even in this chat um as soon as we upload it people are buying get a shirt with your oh that's interesting get a shirt with your autograph it's interesting but i don't want to show everybody my autograph um no, I don't think I want to show everybody my autograph because people will try to, you know, like copy your autograph. Oh, and somebody else says your photo with your autograph. That's interesting. I would have to see how that works. I could maybe write Gina Young in some type of cursive, but it's not my autograph. So we could possibly do something like that. So write that down. Okay, Gina Young is back with yet another, with a recipe, okay? Okay, she said, good one, Ron. What did Ron say? Don't say it's Miss Gina. <laughs> if you don't use my recipe, that is so right. That is a good one. You know that's good, Ron, because I hate that. I hate that. People will say, oh, Gina, I made your so-and-so. I didn't. I didn't have the main ingredient, but I made it. I'm like, ah, uh -uh. don't tell them it's my recipe if you didn't use the main ingredient. I hate that. Okay, so Derek says, let's pray. 
on a print t-shirt. I like that one. He said, let's pray. Okay, okay, we wrote it down. She says, I'm back with yet another erasing recipe. Did you rate that already? Huh? Well, we got that one already. My family goes nuts. <laughs> they are really thinking of my... <laughs> Hold on, guys. I'm coming right back. <laughs> really really thought of the things that I say and for you to say my family goes I always say that my family goes nuts over this all right okay okay Shay is just totally laughing okay here are the lovely oh here are the lovely ingredients you will need so that one could totally go um th that one could totally go on the bag here are the lovely ingredients you could you would need. I feel like that could go on the bag, right? And you could put your ingredients in the bag that you're going shopping for to make Jeannie Young's recipes, you know. All right, here, okay, we got that one, okay. G, okay, Gina, be glad you're getting your surgery at, at your age because I am 60 now and they said, at Sanabello, I am too old to have surgery. Oh, wow. Now, let me tell you something really interesting. I actually went to Sanabello, and um, I, I had the consultation and everything. They looked at my stomach, everything told me how much it was gonna be, all that good stuff, right? And um, I, I didn't like what they was offering because I've come to find out, um, come to find out uh, they what they do at Sanabello is okay Heidi take care um, what they do at Sanabello is they take the fat out right but after the fat comes out you're left with loose skin and I said no thanks that's not what I want ain't no way now see when uh, like I'm getting the fat taken out of my stomach, of course. They're gonna tighten my stomach muscles up so I don't have diastasis. Diastasis is when you have a baby and your stomach muscles go whoop, right? And you don't have no waste anymore. So they um, sew the stomach muscles back together like this, all right? And then they, all along the middle of your stomach and then your waist is able to come back in like it used to be, right? Um, uh, Sanabella doesn't offer that. And I've seen that a lot of people in their reviews, they were saying, so they sucked out the, the fat, but now I'm left with skin. And I said, oh, no, heck no, I ain't going to Sanabella. Right? So, so that's where I drew the line there. I said, if, I, if they're going to do it, we're going to go all the way. We tighten in the stomach muscles and all that stuff. The, the heck with Sanabella. I do. I do. I love my lip gloss. No, I don't like that. Okay, okay, okay. Was that was that all of? I don't measure. Let's say, okay, and, and you get the, oh, oh, she said, let's say a prayer and you get the first bite. That's what she said. Let's say a prayer and you get the first bite for a shirt. I don't know how, I don't know how that one would go. I don't think that one would go well. Okay, how about devil? You have no authority over this recipe. Put it on there. <laughs> Shay said, oh, do a lip gloss shirt. Do a lip gloss shirt and put your lip gloss on the shirt. <laughs> Gina Young's lips in the lip gloss on the shirt. <laughs> Nobody will understand that. <laughs> and she said yes. <laughs> over this one. Huh? No authority over this one. Devil, you have no authority over this recipe. Oh. <laughs> All right, with Christ on your side, with God on your side, you can do anything.
Show us now. Show you what? So today, somebody says Shay in her, out, her inner eyeshadow. Oh, you want the lip gloss and the eyeshadow? So today I tried to put, I don't know if you guys can see it. I tried to put three different colors in my eyeshadow. So at the top, you can see that I have brown. In the middle crease, I have yellow. And then I have like an orange. And then when it, once I close my eyes and open them so many times, the color blends together to kind of resemble like these colors. So that's what I was aiming for to do today. I'm really having a great time um, like playing around with colors, you know. Maybe we can make like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, Brenda. So is that all the suggestions that you guys have? If, you, if that's all the suggestions, um, I just want to let you know that we have written them down, okay? So we've written them down, we've taken your ideas, and we'll see how we can put them together to make more merch, okay? Thank you, Shay. Thank you. You failed at being un huh? You failed at being unattractive. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you're seeing the puppies. Um, uh, I, I don't know how much the puppies would sell. Here, let me see that. This is so funny. Hold on, guys. My lips. <laughs> this is so funny. Hold on, guys. Y'all are going to see this. Hold on. Hold on. Let me see. Here, just show that. That's my, that's my actual picture. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the card is about to show you something. This is not what we're going to put on the thing. I'm putting it just like this this is not what we're gonna put on the thing. Why you make it so big? Just make it regular. Show the face or or some. Make it so where it's not so big. Okay, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> so one day. <laughs> I had said, um, I, I, I did like a thumbnail. <laughs> I did a thumbnail. I did a silly thumbnail one day. The photo just happens to still have the picture where um, I, I, I had said in the video, <laughs> I said lip fillers. <laughs> it wasn't lip fillers. It was just I had went to the dentist. And when I go to the dentist, my lips always swell up. So I took a picture, and here's the picture. <laughs> this is my actual picture, and I used it for a thumbnail. <laughs> and I was, you know, I was doing like that. But uh, <laughs> Dakota said, you can use this with the lip gloss. <laughs> but when I seen that, I just laughed. You said I like you have no authority. Absolutely. And you know, Shay, I am so serious. Because when I say devil, you have no authority, I say it every day. I say, look, look at me. <laughs> Dakota just put look, Dakota, Dakota just put some huge lips on me. Look what he just did. Look at those huge lips. Those are not my lips. <laughs> duck, those are not. He said duck. She said duck. <laughs> now those are not my lips. <laughs> <laughs> they said no oh my gosh yeah, no <laughs> but yeah there's so many different things that we can do so we're going to put our brains together and see what we can do <laughs> we're going to put our brains together see what we can do he said they're swollen. He said they're swollen. Lord Dakota, look what he just did. He can do all kinds of stuff on this computer. Look what he just did. <laughs> no, that's not real. <laughs> oh, good night, Lisa. Thank you for coming in. I'm so glad we got to sit here and chat and have fun. How many of you that cooked cookies with me today? How many of you love the cookies? 
Gina, I thought of another phrase. It hasn't been thought of yet. You hear me? Oh, yep. You hear me? That's a good one. Okay, he's okay. We're writing it down. Good night, Lisa. She says, Sonia, can you see me? Amy is saying, Sonia, can you see me? So the people that, okay, Mildred saying they were delicious. Okay, that's great. Okay. So I'm going to go through the list. Yeah, those were. <laughs> not my lips. <laughs> Nobody get it wrong. I have not had Botox. But when I come back from the dentist, it looks like it. Because <laughs> my lips are always swollen for like two days. Seriously. When I go to the dentist, it's like the worst. Um, uh, so I'm going to go through the list of everything that you guys said that we could possibly make. I'm gonna, we're going to try to uh, make some merch so you guys can purchase it. Because that's what you all are asking for, okay? So we have <coughs> Nate Dog asks for... Um, you know, T-shirts or hoodies, or even an apron with Gina Young's face. We'll try to do uh, one that's really nice looking that doesn't look like that one. Cartoon, cartoon look. Okay, okay, okay. So there's that. We got one that's gonna say, uh, make them say, "Ooh, mommy." Okay. All right. Ooh, mommy factor. All right. Trust me when I tell you this. Back with another amazing recipe. And that could be like on a apron. Okay. Gina Young signature. Let's pray. My family goes nuts. Okay. There's one. And here are the lovely ingredients you will need. Devil, you have no authority over this recipe. Okay. All right. You hear me? All right, that's another one. And that's it. Okay, I seen you said tank tops. And, oh, and with God, all things is possible. Okay, so we're going to play around with it. I don't know how long it could take, but uh, we'll get some things in motion. But take another look at the other stuff. Let me know what you guys think. You're going to be able to see it much better on your device. And if you're looking on your phone, if you are looking on your phone, let me just show you real quick. Just like so. Do we have just like so already? Yeah. We got just like so. Because we have older merch. Okay? The older merch that we have, we do have some just like so, I believe. Don't quote me on this now. Um, we do? No, we do. I thought we had it. So stinking good. We didn't have so stinking good. All right, do so stinking good. Okay, so let's just do this. Let's go to Gina Young made shrimp and rice, right? Here's my shrimp and rice recipe. That's a commercial. Okay, hold on. Here's my, okay. So if you are on your phone, that's a commercial. All right. So, um, you see the comments where you can comment? Literally underneath the comments, if you click on the apron, the shirt, the bag, you click on something down there, uh-oh, it went dark. You click on it, guess what it's going to do? You're going to get to see the front and the back of the shirt. You're going to get to click on the link and it's going to take you straight to the store. Okay, and um, it's like amazing, and it's so stinking easy to use. Okay, so right under the comments where you guys comment to me all the time, that's where you're gonna find the merch. Okay, all right, so, uh, just like so you got to season it. He said, You got to season it. Write mm -hmm. that down. Mm, mommy. <laughs> ah, I'm going to say, mm, mommy. Yeah, I love when I say that. I don't know. I don't know why I started saying that, but it, it is. I'm telling you, the food, when I tell you, don't be afraid to season. 
When I tell you all you need that certain flavor for something, whether I'm telling you, put sugar in it because it's going to give it that umami factor. I'm so serious. You know, and so many people worry, oh, no, Cheetah, why are you putting sugar? Don't put the sugar. She putting sugar in it. You know, it's going to give that umami flavor. Make them say it, umami. <laughs> you said we were thinking the same thing. All right. Put some flavor in your food. You got to. All right. So I got don't be afraid to season. You got to season it, okay? Put some flavor in it. Did we put, put flavor in it? Give it flavor or something. Don't be afraid to season. Yeah, we got that one, okay? Season was my first lesson, and I love that Ron likes to tell that story because it's so true. It's so true. And always, you guys can use seasonings that you love. Use seasonings that you love so you can enjoy it, you know? You don't always have to use. Put that on a notebook. We actually um, put it in the computer as y'all are, are talking, okay? We put it in the computer so we can save those sayings, okay? And uh, we'll come back with, with different merch, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed it, enjoyed the rainbow collection that we have. We got a lot of new stuff. And then we got older stuff too. How much older stuff do we have? Oh, because we erased a whole lot of stuff. So actually everything that we showed you, oh, and even the uh, mask with the GY logo on it. Those are really cute. We got eight there's eight collections. Collections. Oh, okay. Go, if the air is on, go turn it off. <laughs> Sugar balance is the flavor. <laughs> Jasmine. Let's see, Sod says Jasmine's Blue Diamond have a sad and upsetting ending. What is it, a movie? We should all vote on them. Oh, okay. I, I think that would be great. I think that would be great. You got to make you, make you some. Oh, I did, I put make you some. I got uh, make you some merch already. Uh, and they're really nice. There's make you some uh, aprons, make you some hoodies, and make you some t-shirts. Jasmine Blue, yes, it's a movie. Oh, Gina on Netflix. Okay. Oh, that's like, guess what I watched. Oh my goodness, you guys would never believe what me and my husband watched two days in a row. Shay says, that's a good idea. All right. Oh, Gina Young style, 101. Okay, so Tyree said, Gina Young is back with another recipe. Oh, did, I had that. I got that. Where do you purchase? In the Gina Young store. Okay. And if you're on your phone, where everybody can comment and you guys can comment to me. There's a whole section. You can click on one of the merchandise and once you click on it, it takes you to the store. Okay? Okay? It'll say Gina Young Merch in the left corner. How about a shirt with a picture of some chocolate chip cookies <laughs> and either over or under cookies right out cook, right out Chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> I'm back, Gina, says Eula. Oh, welcome back. Thank you for coming back. We're glad to have you. We had a lot of fun this evening. Oh, Saj said, what did you and Mr. Young watch twice? Oh, my goodness. We watched the Dahmer. Jeffrey Dahmer. Lord, we watched the movie. Or, I guess, a series. And it's on Netflix. And it is totally nuts. When I tell you it's nuts, it's nuts and it's scary. 
My husband wind up falling asleep. And I was awake. And I'm looking at him like, wake up because I'm scared. The movie was so scary. Can you order three, four, and five X? Special sizes, says Janice. We're going to check right now, and I'm going to give you your answer right now. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, guys. I'm not looking at the messages. Hold on. It goes up to four. Okay, me, you get a, you can get small, medium, large, extra large, 2X, 3X, 4X, 5XL, LT, XLT, 2XT, 3XT, 4XT. Hey, if you want it, you can get it. If you want it, you can get it. In those sizes I just told you, okay? Up to 4XT, okay? How about it? Questions answered, and I'm so glad that you can get it in those sizes as well. That's really exciting. But listen, oh my goodness. I see you're saying hot pads and somebody else said tank tops. I will definitely look and see. There's like biker shorts, there's all kinds of stuff. So we'll see. I don't wanna have too much stuff and then I got a bunch of stuff in the store that nobody, the stuff that I put up, people are going to want, okay? They got everything. They got watch bands. They got slides. So they got watch bands. They got um, overprint sports bra. They got men's jersey shorts. They have pendants. And um, they got phone cases and bath mats. Um, so it's a whole bunch of stuff, and I'm really going to try my best to incorporate some of those things. Joggers, okay, so there's some exciting stuff happening. Cooking towels, is there cooking towels? They have towels. Joggers, yes, they do. So I don't know how we would design, I mean, unless we could like put uh, Jeannie Young style going down like the side of the leg. They got leggings. Let me see the, the joggers. Cause Saad says, jo they got joggers? I wanna show you. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, so the movie. The movie was nuts. The movie was so crazy and it was interesting to hear about his life story. But I said, oh my goodness. And then it was like the second day my husband was like, you wanna finish watching it? I'm like, yes I do. <laughs> I wanted to finish watching it, but it's still crazy. <laughs> All right, let me see. Are those the joggers? Let me see. Oh, okay. Can you turn them in a, in a color so we can see? And then we can, like, just show me a light blue. Okay. So, yeah. Here's some joggers here. Uh-oh. Let's see if you can see it. There are some joggers. And there's the colors that they could come in, right? Those little dots. So, uh, possibly, we could do something like, say on the side of the leg, you know how like, um, you know, on the side of the leg, say Gina Young, right? Or Gina Young style. Like there's some cute stuff that we could do. So we'll just see, okay? And I want y'all to let me know how you like it, okay? So I can see people are purchasing right now. Some of you are buying now. People have started buying from the time we uploaded this, you're gonna want your listen. Don't don't miss it. Don't miss it. You got you got until next Saturday. All right. Ty says this sounds good. The promo is on until next Saturday. Twelve dollars off. We got 
Ain't nobody wearing no fanny pack. He talking about we got fanny packs. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm not making no fanny packs. Yeah, Valencia. He was a crazy and scary dude. Yes. Let me see. I don't usually... I usually don't, but I was scary, but fell asleep during the last part of it. Oh. You said John... Oh, you said that Dr. Mary was crazy too, uh, Sarge? I, I never watched that, Linda. Have you watched Fox? I haven't, Linda. Nicole, what are you saying? He's my favorite. Nicole says, Mount 323, he's my favorite. My 7 and 11-year-old sons are constantly quoting Genia. <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> oh, that's cute. <laughs> <laughs> do you like the movie Carrie oh lord I remember that I remember that when I was younger it's an old movie I, I really can't remember it they got a cat and a dog what is it <laughs> There's actually different versions. Oh, there's different versions. The one I remember is the one when I was younger, you know. She said, it's crazy, but my fanny packs are making a comeback. She said, I saw a Gucci one the other day. <laughs> I'm about to have nightmares. I am so scared of scary movies. <laughs> Don't have nightmares and you didn't even watch a scary movie, Mildred. <laughs> Mildred, please tell me this. Tell me, tell me how the book is going. <laughs> How's the book going for you? You can put recipes on here and they can buy them to see what That's nice. Gina, can you repeat what we're doing now, ordering from the store, or give you ideas about what, what, okay, so what you're going to do is you just go to the Gina Young store, okay, on my channel, and then you can purchase what you'd like, okay? There's a little plus button on a cart where you can put things into the cart. And then when you're ready to purchase, you can purchase them. Twelve bucks off is in the promo code is Gina Young, all capital letters with the twenty-two at the end, and it's all together. There's no spaces. Okay, so people are buying this stuff right now as we speak. Oh, I remember that prom night movie. That was scary. Do you carry youth sizes? Um, let me see because I know there was like some baby stuff. Let me let me check and see. Yeah, baby ones. Let let me see. I know there is some baby and little kid stuff. Don't quote me. Let let me let me actually see. But that's a great question here. Okay, so let me let me show you. Okay. So now there's baby onesies, there's premium tees, there's kid premium tees. Okay, so let me see if there is kid. Um, okay, so for kids, there's the baby onesies and there's kids premium t-shirts, okay, that you could, you know, put something on, okay? Yeah, so that's what I'm seeing here. A kid's class, there's a kid's classic pullover hoodie and a toddler classic t-shirt and baby premium onesies. Um, okay, so, huh? But we don't have, we didn't put anything on kids stuff, did we? 
So what you would have to do is email me. Okay, Mildred, hold on. I'm going to read your message in one second. Um, we would have to put some designs on kids' clothes. You let me know what you're looking for. Let me know what you're looking for and message me, okay? And like you could say, I got a baby and I got a toddler that I want a, a hoodie and I want you to put this on it and I could do that, okay? And then you could purchase it, okay? So you keep in contact with me and let me know what you're looking for, okay? All right, so let me see what Mildred is saying. This is so exciting. She says the book is sad because, okay? Because his little girl's gone at the part where he went. Oh, you're at the part where he went, returned back to the shack. Okay. Now, see, listen. Once he gets in there, Chad, listen here. A whole new world opens up, okay? Because this is where it's, you're going to be in pins and needles. When I say pins and needles, you're pins and needles from here, okay? Pins and needles from here, okay? So, it, it, there is, it is sadness in the book. But always remember where God is, um, there is happiness. Um, where Jesus, God, the Holy Spirit is, there's going to be happiness. So, there is some parts in the book. That is so exciting, that is so happy, that is so overwhelming, so warm to your heart that you are going to let, it's not just sad all the way through the whole book. Okay, so you are to the point in the book where it really starts to get really interesting, okay? So, so just stick with it, stick with it because it gets good. Oh, it gets good. How about Mildred? How about when the son and the girl was in the boat, okay, you could just picture it, right? The son and the girl were in the boat, and um, the boat tipped over. Listen to me. The boat tips over, and the one was able to swim to shore. The son was trapped underneath the boat. Come to find out he had a seatbelt on, right? And they couldn't, couldn't get him out. They dragged him out of that water, and lo and behold, he was alive. And he was coughing up all of this water, and I thought, oh, I'm so glad he's alive, right? He made it out alive, but when he turned around, oh, Lord, oh, everything broke loose. And I was just like, oh, this book is nuts. But now, now is where it's going to get really interesting for you, okay? What listing? I'm doing baby sizes. Okay, so we're doing some baby sizes right now. Okay. In the ooey. Okay. It little the little baby sizes should say pewee. Cause sometimes they have little stinkies. Little stinking diapers. <laughs> it should say pewee. <laughs> Okay, so what we'll do is we'll keep up with you and show you what we've done, you know. Uh, you said you love the original classics? Yeah. Oh, he is. <laughs> okay. What time does Sam's Club close, honey? Are they already closed? What? Yeah, I mean, I think pretty, pretty much everybody worked here at home, please. Let me see. What time is it? What time is it? You didn't even tell me. What time What time did it close? Okay. Huh? Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. 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 Oh, 7.55. Are they closed? Did I miss Sam Club? Whoa! 
My husband said, they close. He said, everybody work there is probably at home already. <laughs> Ron said hello to Dakota and my husband. Hey, Ron. They said hello, Ron. Don't forget to message you. You said, okay, don't forget to message me. Oh, you said yes, they're closed. Okay, we did have to go there and get some stuff, but... I was just having so much fun with you guys. I forgot. I see my husband dressed and I thought, oh, Lord, are we going to go now? <laughs> he said, they closed. Everybody, everybody work there at home right now. What's my PP -pee doing? Come here, PP. -pee. Come here, PP. -pee. Give, give him to me. Give him to me. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Give him to me. Come here, sweetie pie. Okay, 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 okay. All right. Come here, Polo. Say hi. Mm. I love you, sweetie pie. They're so worried. My husband's leaving out the door. <laughs> see them, see them keep looking. They keep looking back. They close at 8. Oh, honey, you smell so good. Oh, my goodness. Yes, this is Prince. <laughs> and Polo's scratching my leg right now. <laughs> He's scratching my leg. Oh, now I got it. Prince is lighter. Yes, he is. He's just a boo-boo. Oh, yeah. Give him a kiss, honey. Can you give them a kiss? You good boy. You good boy. Oh, guys, he smells so good. He smells like baby pal. My Guess what my husband always says? He says, you know what? These dogs smell better than people. <laughs> he, and then he says, and then he always, after that, he always says, they do. They smell better than people. Yeah, Prince, are you okay? And Daddy's coming back. He's going to the store, and he's coming right back, okay? You okay? You a good boy? Yes, you are. You a good baby. Look how little. I, I hate the way he looks so big on here because really they are not big at all they're teeny tiny but for some reason on here <coughs> well they tell you that the camera puts 10 pounds on you so maybe that's why they look so big on here but they're tiny you know, baby mm, you so good you good boy mm. look at his little feet guys look at his little feet yeah, hey baby. I remember when you used to wash them in the sink. Yes, and now they go in the bathtub. They get in my uh, the bathtub now to get washed up. I'm gonna pick Polo up so you can see. Look, he don't want to get down. Look at him holding me. He's holding me. Polo, where are you at, honey? Where's Polo? Let me have him. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Come here, baby. You baby. Oh, my goodness. Your baby. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Let, me, <laughs> Let me fix your hair so they can see you. Okay, hold on. Now, see the difference? And you see how he actually looks older, but he's not. He just looks like a bigger boy. And he's black. Um, yeah. <laughs> hey. Hi, guys. Yeah, just a baby. Oh, he's just a baby. Love you, okay? Sam's Club closed at 8 o'clock, baby. That's what they're telling me. Oh, yeah. Now they tell me. And believe it or not, in every country. Honey, they tried to keep me on here. They was trying to keep me. They was trying to keep me on here forever. They, they said, Gina, don't go. 
They said, we know you got to go to Sam's Club, but don't go. He said, that's okay. They're open tomorrow. We'll go tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, we will go tomorrow. We got to pick up some stuff. So listen, tell me this. Somebody give me a red heart up in the comment section if you guys. <laughs> she said, it's not our fault, Gina. <laughs> no, it's not your fault. Um, uh, give me a red heart if you totally loved the live today. I did. I really did. Huh? I can't hear you. Do you see it? What, did you see it? Oh, oh good. <laughs> Hearts. This is great. This is great. I see the difference now. Yeah, you can see the difference in them. You know, and as you get to know them, you'll really know who Prince and Polo is. Princey is a baby. Yes, they do. You said the people notice me. Even with my mask on, they do. <laughs> Even with my mask on, and my husband said, huh, how do they know who you are with your mask on? I said, I don't know. I remember we was in a dollar store one time, and the lady stopped me. I had a mask on. <laughs> Even in Walmart one time, I had a mask on. I'm so glad. Thank you for the red hearts. It was fun. You know, honestly, it's always fun. <laughs> Thank you for the blue hearts. Yes. Um, now, keep in mind that on Thursday, I'm not going to be going live, but I am going to be doing a really special video. Okay? So we're going to have fun doing that. But then Saturday, we'll be back to, you know, back in business. And we're going to be making something delicious. You know, honestly, I feel like I want to do something on Saturday, <coughs> like, like a big old pot of greens or a big pot of beans with ham hocks or something in it. I really was. Thank you. You said you're glad I'm feeling better. Thank you for that. Um, so I, I, I really want to do something on those lines. What do you guys think about that? Wow. Like a big pot of beans with cornbread. Oh, or uh, stay here, poop poop. Daddy's leaving. He'll be right back. Stay here, boo boo. Baby, be careful. I love you too. So, what do you think about that? Okay, Ty says yes. With ham, absolutely. We could do that. So, now I just want you guys to please keep in mind now, you gotta keep in mind that if we decide. That we're going to do something like a big pot of greens or a big pot of beans they take hours to cook so you go so we would have to plan to be on here for a nice amount of time you know what i mean so i i think it would be fun like so like he said with some ham some smoked turkey some ham hocks or something in those beans or in those greens i want to do something like that that's what i'm really thinking so we'll see, like I said, but it is going to be a long live where we would have to be on here forever, <laughs> okay? You guys could go cook your dinner, take a shower, come back, and I'm still on there, you know? So I got to really think about, do I want to do a live where I'm cooking for a long time? Navy beans. Miss Karen say, yes, navy beans. Or that, that was uh, natural. Okay, natural says that, okay. Good night, Nicole. Thank you for coming in. Ham, green peppers, white onions. See, see, there's all kinds of stuff. I want to do something wholesome like that. Something like a big old pot of something, you know. Like, I, I just want to do something like that. Like cabbage, you know. Like, so we'll figure it out. We'll totally figure it out. Stop, Polo. Don't do that to his face. He's licking Prince's face, and Prince's face is looking like this right now. Good night, Lorraine. Thank you for coming in. Good night, everyone that's leaving. 
Well, yeah, Shay says the warm the tummy stuff. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking about. Um, make them say, mm, mommy. Okay, so possibly that's one. But I think we would change the letters on it. Make them say, ooh, mommy. Yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out. Okay, what is this? Notification, someone's in your driveway. Okay. Why not like a soup or something since it's fall? A sup? Or are you saying super or supper? Why not like a sup or something since it's fall? Um, yeah, I, I just have to figure out like what, you know. Oh, Janice says quick canned beans and you can make them even faster. Yeah, so I could still make some delicious, what a great idea. I could still make some delicious big old pot of beans using the beans that um, are canned. Therefore, I wouldn't have to make the beans that take four hours to cook. And I could still use my ham, my ham hocks, my smoked turkey, whatever. I decide to use so what a great idea that I did not think about okay Sash says gotta do my night workout but I'm still here oh girl you get it you get it get that workout in that's amazing oh and I lost some weight guys y'all don't even have I ever told y'all how much I weigh have I ever told y'all how much I weigh oh my goodness have I ever told y'all how much I weigh I, I just have to know. No, I haven't. Okay. Well, hold on, guys. Hold on. Let me, I'm reading a message here. Hold on, hold on. I'm reading a message. Okay, um, so, oh, so I was weighing, like, believe it or not, like, seriously, believe it or not, I was weighing 186. I was weighing 186. Like, I'm not teeny tiny. Like, I'm just not. But I weighed myself today, and I was 175. So, you know, go figure. Um... Like I said, I was steady at 186, and I was just staying there. It was like stuck in stone, like conceiving. But now I'm 175, because um, I got on the scale today, um, and I was like, oh, wow. And I was dressed and everything. I didn't have light clothes or anything. I had shoes on. So um, I, I'm probably like 174, you know, without my clothes, or 173 maybe. So that was exciting. Uh oh, he said, close your blinds behind you, Gina, because, uh, <laughs> close your blinds, Gina. Go close the blinds, Dakota. <laughs> and you might want to close the office, too. How tall are you? I am five, one and a half. Five, one and a half. You know, um, uh, I wish I was a little bit taller that way. Things could have been stretched out a little bit more like my stomach. <laughs> but it's okay. So, yeah. Five, one and a half. My, oh, my husband always says, she's five, one and a half. Because <laughs> I, I might be at the doctor's or something or wherever. And I'll say, honey, how much? I, uh, how tall am I? <laughs> always do that. Honey, how tall am I? <laughs> he say five, one and a half. No taller. <laughs> Yeah, it is. The weight is too hard on you. Uh-huh. Monday, what are you making, Gina, for Columbus Day? Um, <coughs> I don't know. You always say 5'2". <laughs> I look taller. Oh, I, I'm, I'm, it's probably because, um, like, you guys don't get to see my whole body. You know what I mean? What you're seeing is from here up. And the camera is always just right there. So if you don't never get to see my legs, um, you won't know how tall I am. You, you know what I mean? So yeah, I'm only 5'1". 
Uh oh, Miss Karen says, Saj, please send me some of that energy my way. Saj, you can send me um, some of your uh, muscle that you gain <laughs> from working out. You can send it this way. Saj, you also can send me some of your energy this way. <laughs> Absolutely. So yesterday, here's what we did. We had some clothes. We had folded clothes, or we had washed clothes. And for a couple of weeks, they had, whew, sorry, they had three laundry baskets in my bedroom. Three laundry baskets just sitting in there. And yesterday, I said, let's go. <laughs> I said, let's go. We're getting ready to fold clothes right now. Get that crap out of there. So we folded all the clothes. Didn't take us no time. We folded the clothes, and now oh, oh those three laundry baskets is out of the room, and I'm so happy. <laughs> Chicken cacciatore. That's the second time I heard of that. Um, I need to write it down. Write down chicken cacciatore for me because I definitely need to make it. It would be nice if I could make that on Monday, okay? I make a deli listen. <laughs> I make a delicious chicken cacciatore that you would totally love. How about a pot roast, Gina? See, all of that stuff is great. Like, I want to do something, something of the such. You know, like what you guys are speaking of. So, I'm definitely going to keep pot roast in mind. The chicken cacciatore, uh, the beans, the greens. I'm going to do something good on Saturday. You hear me? The videos for this week coming will be much different because we're going to be doing something different may not be cooking videos but it's definitely going to be some videos that you all like okay i'm serious chicken cacciatore is amazing i have to go into my memory of exactly how to make it but mildred i know you would love it do you hear me <laughs> that's what tammy says I said that and Dakota looked up like, huh? Oh, you're going to a hospital to visit your friend. Let me see. Oh, I'm sorry. He, okay, have a good night, Freddie. I'm sorry um, to hear about your friend getting ran over. We pray that he's okay in Jesus Christ's name. It's Selena. I love your che I love your cheese pull bite. So good. Thank you, Selena. Thank you for coming in, everybody. Welcome, Selena, to the channel. Oh, Janice says sausage, gravy, and biscuits. That's something we love here at the Young's House. And I just have to be honest, it's so easy to make. And when I tell you it's easy to make, it is very easy to make. Devil, you have no authority over this recipe. Okay, so let me show you. Here is, um, so they made the devil, you have no authority over this recipe um, shirt. I'm going to show you what it would look like, okay? So for the person that had suggested it, Here's what it would look like on a t-shirt or a hoodie, okay? So this is a green hoodie. And here's what it looks like. Devil, you have no authority over this. And the T is a cross recipe. And keep in mind that the colors that you like, you could print it out. I mean, you could purchase it in what color you like. So I actually like that, right? That's cute. You like it? Somebody say, somebody say I like it or I don't. Freddie praying all is well. 
okay you love the hoodie okay love it okay love it all right yeah and so that's how easy it is you know it just i like the wording but needs graphics okay yeah so maybe we could do the t a little bit bigger and the cross so make the cross a little bit bigger okay hold on make the cross okay very nice people are saying that they like it okay don't edit anything without me looking at it like i have to look at it okay like it want a hoodie okay <laughs> Make the T, make the T big, all right? Change the font, okay? because we love input and we don't mind um, great input like that because if you don't like the font then we got to fix it okay so how about this font here devil you have no authority over this and the T is across recipe and it would be on the hoodie it would be on the shirt let me know and if the font still needs to be changed, show it on the shirt. <laughs> but let's see, I'm glad you like my suggestions about the devil not having any. Absolutely. Hey, listen, no problem. The symbol is on everything, okay? The symbol GY is on everything. And sometimes it's real little like this at the bottom like at the bottom on the right or at the bottom on the left, but you will see the GY logo, okay? Oh, put a, put, put a lowercase d for the devil. That's what they said, because the devil is nobody, right? <laughs> Purposely give him a lowercase. <laughs> it, it's great to have different minds um, coming together. You know, my face is getting oily. I'm just wiping off some of the oil. Some people say, why is she putting makeup on? Oh, please stop. I'm not. I'm wiping the oil off because my face is oily. <laughs> they said, I agree. Don't capitalize the devil. <laughs> Grease be gone. Is that a different font? Oh, thank you so much. Your teeth turned out really nice. Thank you so much. I will be going to the dentist. I, I see when they revised my gums. I did get my gums lightened because I wasn't happy with the color. I see that some of the color came back. Some of the pigmentation came back. So I want to get them lightened again just one more time and see where that leads me. And I tell you one thing, when they numb you, oh Lord, when they numb, where do they numb you? I think it's up here, mm -hmm. right in the roof. That hurts like the worst thing in the world. And your eyes, you just start crying automatically. But then you can't feel nothing when they start burning your gums, you know. <laughs> But I tell you what, oh, they look so pretty because I, I like for my gums to be light. You know, I, I um, was always a person that had gums that was darker. But I told myself after I got my braces done, I said, I'm getting my gums lightened. So what they do is they literally like uh, laser off a couple layers until the pigmentation is gone and then it's just pink. You know, and uh, but I see some of the color came back and I'm not happy with that. So I, my question is, are they going to charge me? Because I didn't know the color was going to come back. Or are they going to do it for free because the color came back? So and only a little bit of color came back because you see they're nice and pink. 
but I still want it fixed. And I will go through that pain just for about five minutes <laughs> just to get them nice and pink again. <laughs> You can't see your gums? I can when I smile. I can when I smile. Oh, yay! He said you really did a good job on the merch. Thank you. Okay, so let's see. Why you keep picking a green hoodie? Can we see another color? Okay. Um, let me see. Okay. Okay. So this is different. And then the little GY logo will be on there. If you don't like the font, say, I don't like the font, Gina. Devil, lowercase d, you have no authority over this recipe. Come on. Yes or no? If it's a no, it's Selena says blue. She wants to see it in blue. Okay. <laughs> uh, worldwide says a lowercase everything of it. <laughs> no, don't lowercase everything. Just lowercase the devil because he's nobody. <laughs> the font looks kind of computerish. Okay, I tell you what, we're going to try a completely different one. Here's the blue. Look at that. Ha 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 ha. Uh huh. I tell you what, we're gonna do a cursive writing, okay? Do a cursive writing and then do a university writing, okay? Because this right here is us against uh, Nate Dog. Not against him, I'm just playing. Okay, cursive, yeah. Okay, so, so kind of like cursive. Um, or then we'll do the university print, okay? <laughs> the blue is pretty, right? The blue is like so pretty, right, Selena? Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. I think I burnt my thumb when I went to take the cookies out the oven because this is kind of burning a, a little. Oh, they said the fuchsia was pretty. Absolutely. Add your logo. Yeah, the logo will be on there, but it's tiny and you won't be able to see it. I, I mean, it's so tiny. But when you purchase it, it it's still going to be tiny, you know. But it's on there, okay? It'll be on there. The cookies look so good. Thank you. I love all the shirt. It's just the font, Okay. Okay, I like that one. I got a font for you. I got a font for you, buddy. Hold on. I got a font. I got a font. We got a font for him. Okay. All right. All right. Let me see that one. Let me see that one. Where'd he go? No, no, no. Back up. Go ahead. Put that on there. And put it, put it on the shirt real quick. I don't like the pink shirt. Only I like the green shirt. You might have to change the font on a lot of those. Remember I told you some of your fonts was plain. I told you that. What? You don't have the best letters. The people spoke. The sun is not eye catching. What, what do you talk? What does that mean? The sun is not eye. There's no sun. Dogs are sleeping. They're so upset that my husband left. Is that the only colors we can get in those? Okay. Let me see the gray one. Show the gray one. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. Check me out. Show the hoodie part. Show the hoodie part. Show the hood. Up. Oh, okay. Come on.
Yeah! <laughs> Worldwide! Uh-huh! Nate Dog! Love it! <laughs> okay! See that? Okay, how about we send it out right now? Is this going to have the promo? Yes or no? Okay, we can send this one out. How's that? You like it? Oh, that's nice. Okay, so it's the letters. The letters is very much better. Okay, Ron says, I like that. <laughs> so here's the thing. It takes time. Open it. Make it big. He said yes. <laughs> All right. Come on. Come on. Come on for you. For for your mom, for your grandma, for your girlfriend, your wife. Aha! Okay. Can you make the logo bigger? Get your logo. <coughs> I'm not gonna make the logo bigger. I just want, like, um, have you ever seen? Uh, what, what, what do I want to say? If I have um, a saying on the shirt, I don't want that GY logo to take over. So here's your saying, and then we're putting a GY logo. I just want it to be teeny tiny here at the bottom. You know, it's just going to be tiny, okay? I don't want it to be too big, but I want it to be there, okay? Huh? It's tiny. Make it a little tiny bit bigger, <coughs> but not too big. <clears throat> the Y looks backwards. Let me see. Oh, it's not backwards. It, it's, it might be the camera, okay? I'm looking, like, I'm literally looking at it right now. It's not. It could always be the camera, okay? I wonder will other people get it besides the Gina Young family. Um, uh, what I know about that is definitely yes, because even not you guys like there's um like there's a whole lot of people that watch us the channel so even the people that don't come into the live they're purchasing stuff like as we speak and they're not on here with us so now you see the gy logo oh i'm gonna put my finger there there it is look how cute it is we don't want to bring attraction to it right because it's not the saying but what we want to do is just put it in there so you know. Gina Young, okay? Boom. It's not backwards. I'm looking at it. It's just the way it's written. I promise you, okay? It's just the way this one's written. You like it? Uh-huh. It's Selena. Wow. All right, so we're going to put that out, and I'll get an email right now saying good your... Your no authority shirt is good to go. Okay? But sometimes it takes a minute to kind of get on there. So if you guys want to and you want to see, man, did she do what we asked? Or, you know, did she um, take my suggestion? You know, whatever. Yeah, just click on it from time to time. Take a look on it. Okay? See what you like, what you don't like. And if you don't like something, say, I would like to buy this, but I don't like the way it looks. I don't like the letters. Like he did. And when he said that, the first thing I thought was, oh, crap. But I'm thankful for his comment because now everybody's saying, oh, Gina, I like it. You know, so that's what it took for somebody to say, I don't like the font. It ain't cute, Gina. Change the font. He came in and said, you need to fix it. We fixed it. Okay, so we, we just put it onto an apron. Let me see the apron. But you didn't change the font. You got to change this the font. The that's not the same font that was on the hoodie. Yeah, that's. No, it's not. It's the exact same picture. Yeah, it is. Let me see. see. No, 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 that's not. Go to the hoodie. Go to the hoodie. Oh, that waterfall. I love it. It's so peaceful. See, now that is a different font. 
Can you put that on the apron? He's putting it on the apron right now so you can see it. Good night, everyone. Gina Gibson, thank you for coming in. If I didn't get a chance to speak to you, I'm so sorry. Thank you for coming in and joining us. Thank you for being a part of the Young family. Okay. All right, so let me see. So you're gonna have to go through and revise some of these letters, okay? Nate, I already told him about the font. I told him I didn't like the font, and he listened. He listened because it's his mom. His mom isn't just Gina Young, you know. Gina Young, his mom is just mommy, and he, he, he got a hard head. Okay, look at this. There's the apron. Come on. Tell me. Somebody tell me. Looks damn good. <laughs> Worldwide. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> love it. Love. Uh oh, it's okay. Well, no, that's the same writing. That's the same writing that was on the hoodie that you liked. I like. Okay. <laughs> yes. You like the cross. Okay. Okay, so it, it takes some time, trial and error, to figure it out. We'll probably go back to some of the rainbow stuff and fix some of those letters. I think the letters can be better as well. So I do totally agree. And um, it's great to have other opinions, you know? The cookies were really good. I like the cookie recipe, Queen C. Thank you. Selena says, it's beautiful. Uh, Cheryl says, I want one. <laughs> I want one. <laughs> you better get you one. Okay, so now some of the new stuff that I'm going to be putting, if you like, you want to get it right now, it's going to take a, a couple of minutes to, uh, to, to be visible. All right, did you miss the cookie recipe, Tammy? You bet you did. We got a great recipe going on here today, and it was early. It was at 4 o'clock, but you can always go back and watch the replay, okay? Yeah, you can. What is the name of the mic you use? It is, it is a wireless Go. It's a wireless Rode Go. I, I missed it too. <laughs> Black Goat says, I missed it too. Oh my goodness. Oh, hold on. I almost took somebody off of here. Sorry. Oh, we're doing fine, Tarina. Thank you for coming in and joining us. Thank you for asking. We're all doing well. Thank you for joining us. All those items look great, Gina. Thank you. Is the impeccably clean hoodie in the blue as well, Gina? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. G oh, okay. So we never figured out whether we was going to use the GY Nation. Welcome, GY Nation. So seriously, I, I really got to think about this because I told you guys. And I promised you all that we would figure out a name for you all. I, I still want to figure out a name for you all, but I, I, I never came to a conclusion. How about I think about that tomorrow, and then on Monday I can tell you all what I decided. Because I feel like I kind of like G Young Nation. Young Nation. Oh, hold on. I feel like I like Young Nation. GY Nation, Young Nation. I feel like I like Young Nation. But let, let, let me think about it, okay?
Mm. This has the vitamin C in the bottom. That's what I'm drinking if you see some powder in the bottom of here. Let me see. Let me see that one. The who? Yeah. That's the same one. Oh, okay. That's the same one. Okay. Okay. So, have you uploaded anything new? That's what I'm uploading right now. Okay, so the hoodie, the t-shirt, you got the apron and the hoodie in that font, mm -hmm. and make a t-shirt out of it too. So the devil, you have no authority, okay? It's going to be in the hoodie, the t-shirt, and the apron in multiple colors, okay? When I say multiple colors, multiple solid colors, okay? And like I said, we'll work on, you know, other stuff. Okay, I think I'm going to get ready to get off of here. I want to take a nice shower. I don't like the way that looks on the t-shirt. That looks kind of funky. It looks weird because it has a crease. In yeah, I don't like that. But I had such a good time with you guys. We are not going to get off of here without a big old hug. Y'all come on in. Give me a big hug. Give me a hug. Now, how... The Gina Young Package Meals. Now, how? Use cursive writing on that one. It's so dark. Oh, she said use cursive writing. Okay. <clears throat> We're going to come up with some different ones, Janice, and see. Give me a hug, guys. I'm getting off. I'm getting ready to get off of here. I love you guys. I'm so stinking tired. I love y'all so much from the bottom of my heart. We had a good time, and I hope you all had a good time. Now you have a great cookie recipe that you can use for the holiday. You can use it for birthdays. Heck, you can use it for whenever just because you want some cookies, right? Um, possibly I could do some vegan meals. I'm not, uh, I'm not, um, I don't know a lot about vegan food, okay? So I could just tell you possibly until I learn how to make vegan food. Thank you for the hugs, Mildred. I love you guys so much. I'm going to get off here and take a nice shower. After I get out the shower, I'm getting in the bathtub. <laughs> and I'm just going to soak. Excuse me. I'm going to relax, and I'm getting in the bed. And when I get in the bed, I just sit and think about what's the next thing that I want to do in life. You know, how can I get better? How can I become a better me? How can I bring uh, newer content? How can I make the channel more exciting? So I literally do. I get in a bed and I think about things like that. Like, what am I making Saturday? And the thought comes to my head and then I write it down. <laughs> you know, there's so many different things that I think about. Uh, and then me and my husband both, we lay in the bed and we're looking up at the ceiling and we're thinking, okay, what can we do? <laughs> what to do next you know <laughs> judy young meals at walmart 2023 can't wait okay <laughs> i love you too c pug hey i love you guys from the bottom of my heart i'm gonna get off of here relax take it easy and i will see y'all on monday okay i got some exciting stuff coming this week i keep telling you but you just have to wait until next week to see so Make sure you are subscribed. Make sure your family and friends is subscribed to Gina Young. Tell the whole world about Gina Young, what I'm doing here on this channel. When you click on subscribe, you click the notification bell. It's a little bell. And then after you click the notification bell, you also want to click all. So you can be notified every time Gina Young goes live, every time I post an amazing recipe, or if I'm just posting a community tab, okay? I love you guys, and I will see you again. It's never goodbye. It's I'll see you next time, okay? And next time is just a couple days away. Or maybe one day away. Love y'all. Love y'all. See you later. Thanks for a good time today. Good night.